got a special guest in the kitchen tonight, Claire. Hello. Hello, Claire decided not to go home today. She was so jealous of me with my new chocolate mold that Claire has decided to stay and help. So that was Carol's coffee. We were just giving a stir there. <laughs> so Claire's going to whip that next door for Carol. I am. Shall we do that now? Yes, please. Uh, give it a good stir. But whip it for Carol. Because Carol is like a busy bee. She is putting loads of new products on the website. And boy, have we got a busy life for you tonight. Sure do. So I've got Claire as my co-conspirator. I've got my twinny. Me. <laughs> on the camera, I've got our Sam on the camera. We're not identical. We're not identical, we're not. And we have got loads to show you tonight, loads to do. And Sam, have I got any loads for my YouTubers? Yes, hello to all the YouTubers. And we're not I missing just, anyone out. And can I just say, what did your Christmas video? Do you like our bit of play acting? <laughs> Oh. No one can say we didn't go to drama school for that. <laughs> so yeah. Claire will be back in a bit and she'll read I some comments. So Claire will read some I'm comments here. out in a minute. I just asked her what did they think I'm about our video. Like the first fabulous video. <laughs> Joe <laughs> Quinn says hello, crazy Claire. <laughs> Three years at drama school, I did for that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell what his motivation was? <laughs> well, that's what he kept asking me. Say, what's my motivation? I went, just take the spoon. <laughs> Right, so I have, uh, just getting my piece of paper here, I know a lot of you might have seen the announcement that Carol has put on the, um, the page about our new nozzles that, have, that are going to arrive. You can now pre-order our gorgeous hologram, holographic nozzles and our gold, the rose gold nozzles, aren't they? And uh, they come as a, the RRP is fourteen ninety nine for a set of six. But on the website, we're going to sell them for twelve ninety nine for a set. But for two days only, we are giving you a fantastic offer. You can pre-order these nozzles for ten ninety nine, and you get free shipping. So nozzles. you can. Are you going to show us the nozzles? I will, because Claire's going to demo with them later. So here we go. So here is the holographic set. Put the, put the gold ones. I've got one, another one over there. So there we go. So look at these holographic ones. Aren't they gone? I'm going to turn on the side there. They're look so at, beautiful. Aren't they gone? You see them shimmering. Where's he gone? Oh, I'll go to this one then. Okay. Don't worry. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at those. When you're moving, they're all, oh, they are just so gorgeous. So you get a bum on the top there so you can hopefully see what nozzles they are. It's like a 32, I think it's like a 104, 104 yeah. uh, a 1M, a 352. Just watch where you just go. 352. It's a star tip one, I think it's like, no, it's a the leaf tip one. I think it's like the, is that the 67? It, does it, it say uh, on it? 67, I was right. I was yeah. like, so that's the 67. And then you've got this one here, which is the 5FT. Which would be absolutely Don't great. Stick your I'm not. It. I'm showing um, it. Great, great for doing your pavlovas and your meringues and your big swirls as well. So Claire is going to demonstrate these for you. Now you can buy both colours. So if you want to, you can buy both sets. Now we've called it rose gold and holographic. So you can buy both sets of six for eighteen ninety nine, and that is with free shipping. But that's going to be for two days only until the 12th of November, then they go back to being 12 99 a set and they are not free shipping. Now, if you add anything to your pre-order, please know it's not going to be dispatched until the nozzles come in. Um, so if you want it next day, it's not going to go tomorrow. If you need to have next day delivery, then you're going to have to uh, pay your shipping for the other goods that you want. The nozzles are going to be done, dispatched on free delivery. Um, was it something else that uh, you checked, check, click and collect? Not check. Yeah, choose, 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 click, check, choose, you yeah, check the choose, click and collect, and that way the nozzles then will be shipped out to you. Now we are expecting them in. You can get other items, can you? You can get other items, yes. But you have to wait for it. But you have to wait, we can't dispatch them. We're not dispatching in two separate orders, we're only dispatching them but all is it together. Free, did you say it was free shipping? Well, they've said it's free shipping. Right. And you Two can days. add anything you want to your order. But it won't ship. It won't ship. It won't ship. So you can order, add other things. Yep. 
I'm yeah. still getting free shipping. And the due in mid December. Now they could be a little bit before. We don't know, but you know, with the customs and the couriers, and that they're coming from abroad. So until with the customs and that, we'd like to say to you, we have we want them in our building by mid December and out to you. So please get your orders in now. And we've had other plenty of things. I don't know if anyone's seen them on the website. We've had lots of the new BWB moulds in. I know a lot of you saw my little crazy uh, picture yesterday of holding them like a... Someone called me a naughty elf. <laughs> Are we, um, the, there's a big demand here. Big demand for a sing-song. Well, I know what it's for, and you just have to wait for Lynn Woodward. Yeah. <laughs> it's big yeah. You see, I know. You just said uh, we. You just we have plans afoot. Oh, yeah. Just you hold on About because nine o'clock. Because Lynn is our oldest office junior. That's and a bit mean putting that out. <laughs> <laughs> she's our oldest. Office junior. She's a delightful person. We love her to yeah, bits. She's not and she's darling. done the big <laughs> seven zero today. So a quick. Very happy birthday, Lynn, and I hope you've had a wonderful day. I think you've been out for afternoon tea with your friends, and I really hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to give you a sing-song later, because you deserve it being our office junior. You do. Happy birthday, Lynn. So, let me just show you. In fact, Claire, come up here a minute. I want to show you these Christmas trees here, and these angel wings. Can you do an overhead for me, please, Simon? Yep. Now, look at these. We've got Christmas trees... And angel wings. Just move them up a little bit. Or do you want me to move them up a little bit? Nah. No, oh, it. Christmas, it don't matter. You've got Christmas trees and angel wings. Now, here is the Christmas tree. There's the Christmas tree. It's gorgeous. And Claire's decorated those with some little nice um, pearls on there. The four millimetre pearls, a little star. Gorgeous. You could just leave them plain if you want to use them as a little like a forest. Just but, the overhead and show it on that. So. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now you can do these as solid chocolate if you want, or you can um, do them as a shell and fill with ganache, as these ones are, and then you can just put your seal on the bottom so you've got a lovely ganache Christmas tree. But look what <laughs> else we've done with them. Karen's idea. Bring it over and show. Look at this. Sparkly cake. Oh, look at pucker. those angels. So with this mould, you can use them either for Christmas trees or for angel bodies. And then you've got the gorgeous, whoops, Daisy, the gorgeous wings. To make your little, to make your little wings, little angel, family. little angel family. And all we've done there, all Claire did there for the little tiny one was she half filled the mould. And then she just half filled if you want to yeah, come back to... Yeah, part, part filled the um, angel wings So, well. let's go and overhead there for me. But you'll see a video of there that very soon. There's a video there, but just yeah. half, half filled for the baby wings. So you could, this has got very good versatility. This You could make big wings and small wings. With this one, you can make a big body and a small body. Mm -hmm. So you can have a family, a trio of angels. So when can they see the video of this? They will see the video of this on Instagram by Friday... Whenever you want to release it, I reckon Friday. I Friday's a good day. That means Saturday. We'll see on Friday. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's so sweet talking. Without further ado, I've got loads of new moulds. I have got loads of poppet chocolate moulds in. Now this is just a few of them here. I don't know if you've seen them on the website already. We've got the unicorn poppet. We've got the ice cream poppet with the. Um, we've got a love heart, and then we've got the round normal pop it with the rainbow pop it now these are super great to make so easy i'm going to show you how to make a unicorn one we've got new bwb moles what do you think of me santa's wellies don't they look fab now you can have them as singular wellies like that or you can actually glue them together and you'd have a solid santa boot now if you wanted to you could fill that with treats and then you've got your your own um treat filled boot like you know the shaky ones that you can get when you get them with the smarties and all the other little sweeties in so you could do your own little treats treat filled shaky, boots shaky treats. a shaky shaky treat but i'm not going to do the boots tonight because i've done them there i have got i've only got a few i've got so much to do i think i'll be doing them next week as well because hi i've got so many look at that i've got a reef reef but bwb mold can you go on the overhead yeah, phone, please? I need to move the camera, actually. Okay. 
I so think everybody lo- lo- loves the little trees, by the way. I've got a wreath BWB mull. We're going to make a wreath from that and we're going to decorate it. I've got baubles. Look at them baubles. So we can just do in the plain chocolate or different coloured chocolate and then you can just actually, we could paint the lines on if you wanted to. You can just paint the lines on. We've got, I'm going to move that out of the way there, Christmas bells. Again, you could do this as a, a gorgeous, shaky, shaky uh, ornament if you wanted to, and put some sweets and treats inside it. And then look at that. We've got Santa's hat. And again, you could have those as singular around a cake if you want to, or we can put them together, which I will do for you. We'll put them together. And then I've just got, I'm going to do these two pop-it moulds for you. I'm going to do the unicorn one, and I'm going to do the rainbow bridge, the rainbow with... A little round pop. I think it's just these were one of the first poppets that came out, the little round ones. So we're going to show you how to do these. And in between me doing all that, Claire's going to decorate a cake. She's going to show you a chocolate origami collar, which is brand new in as well. And Can we show them the one in the back? Do you know what? The one in the back isn't this super. Turn around, Look turn at around, that. Turn around. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, there we go. I'll turn it round to you there. There you go. Look at that. Can you see the detail on that collar there? I can just see it on the camera there. Yeah, it looks really good. That, that is, isn't that excellent? And that is all chocolate. And it's been put around a buttercreamed, um, crim, crum, can't speak, crumb coated cake. And then we've got our gorgeous choco balls dusted with our wonder dust just put on the top. So how good does that look as just a treat cake? So Claire's going to actually show you how to do a chocolate collar and put it onto, she's already crumb coated the cake and she's going to do one quickly and she's going to show you how to do one of these gorgeous <coughs> collars. So what do you think of those? So these are all on love the website. Those. Yeah. Yeah, they love that. So without further ado, let's let's get chocolate in. Let's huh? get chocolate in. Let's do a pop it mould. Now these BWB moulds are three parts, but they are very different to using them on how we're used to using them. Took me a bit. Took me a bit of a video to find out. You've got the three parts. So you've got your part there, you've got your inner, which goes in there, and you've got what I would have called your topper, because we used to always put the inners inside there. But on this one, we actually put the chocolate into this bit. We put the chocolate into this bit, it's got all the, uh, the poppets in. And then we put the plastic over it so it covers it, and then we cover it with the bottom bit. Press it down so you get the nice a rim around there, which I'm going to show you. And then we'll put it in the fridge like that. So let's get cracking. I've got all these gorgeous colours in front of me. <laughs> so um, Jenny Whitaker was asking, has the tempered chocolate arrived? Yes, the tempered chocolate has arrived. I know they're busy getting the orders out for you. Um, we do have milk and dark. I think we've still got that in stock. Unfortunately, now the white is showing out of stock and it is out of stock as the supplier we get it off has completely run out. We cleared them out. So <laughs> we haven't got any white in. Uh, we have, because of all the people who ordered the white last week, we haven't got any more white chocolate in. But as soon as it comes in, you will be the first to know because we will be getting shed loads of it so you can get it. So we are just waiting for the suppliers to let us know what date they're expecting it back in again. Missed another comment. So I'm just going to start while well, Claire's looking for comments. I'm just start. I've got my oh, colours. It's Doe, Doe Griffin. She says stop because she's going to be bankrupt. <laughs> Sorry, Doe. <laughs> so I've got my colours here. I've got greens and yellows. I've made blue. I've done. Um, I thought I'd, orange. It's not because I've stopped on the screen. That's all. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I'm a fan. I thought, where, where have I gone? So I've got. Uh, it's a, it was like a peach orange, but I put a bit into it. I made a gorgeous, like a, a deep, a, like a, a like a light orange. But it was like a deep peach. I've got the sky blue. I've got the lemon, the green. I've got some red here, which because I've been melting it, so I'd be quick for you. I had melted it. I'm just warming it up through now. So I've got the the red sun. Let's get. 
the yellow one. So while that's doing, I'm going to start filling my bag. I know one thing I needed was my cup. Ah, uh, sorry. I'll put your bag holding for you, no problem. Okay, so, I just like to put a little bit of chocolate in there. Because we can keep warming it up as we go along, so... In fact, I can get a bit more in there, there we go. Oh, Kit Curran's already on it. So that's my Christmas mould ordered. You've done it already, She's Kit, well done. Off and put her order in by the looks of things. Oh, we are having... We're having some streaming issues at the moment. Are we? So... Please bear with us. <clears throat> we look fine here, nobody's um Oh I'm I'm, I'm so while sorry. I'm thinking about this and I'm tying my bag up here, um the bags have also our very own S and C bags with our name on them have uh, will be arriving hopefully tomorrow uh into the building so carol has put them online for sale so you can look at our sale and we've also got the chocolate bags coming in which is all the, those crinkly ones that i like that are great for doing chocolate because you can tie the knot in them so much better not as tough on your old fingers than these plastic ones so both sets of bags are coming in and they are branded with our very own s and c on them so how is how good's that yes patrice yeah it is it's color mill that we've used the color of the chocolates i have i just show you a couple of ones here that i got out to show you so it's color mill cheer cheer it's not because i can't see anything on the screen you see so so I've got colour mill here, I've got purple and I've got red. And this is, it's best to use oil-based paints in, oil-based colours in your chocolate. If you use water-based ones, you will seize your chocolate. So colour mill, you can use that. The sugar flare, uh, chocolate, cocoa, cocoa butter paint. You can also, so here we go with our lemons now, beautiful. I'll put the green in to start melting while I just add. Um, Kit, yes, you you melt your chocolate and then you then you pop the colour in, it just stirs in nicely, but you do need to melt your chocolate first. Yeah. <coughs> Not putting as much in so that I actually can tie the back this time quite easily. There you go. And the best thing about these, if they start to if they start to set in the bags, then you can just put the bag straight into the microwave and remelt your chocolate. Because using our S and C tempered chocolate, you don't need to temper it; it's already tempered. So there's none of that trying to cool it down, none of that trying to get it to the right temperature. So you get the snap. <laughs> Where was you going? <laughs> was that? Did you say something then, Karen? What <laughs> was happened? I was, pop this away, I? I was that a bit of a dance you were doing there? So just get another bag in there. So I want to get all the bags ready first. So then I can get straight on and I can do <laughs> I can do I can tell you what, Claire, while you're there, you can start bagging my chocolate for me if you Well yeah, yeah, of course. You can still keep your eye on the on the comments if you want. I'm trying. You know you can do it. There's only Sam you can't multitask. No, I'm pretty sure I'm using it myself, but I'll do it. <laughs> For you, my so darling, that's the green one you. open, and we'll put that one straight back in. There you go. There we go. Are you ready for this? Yep, yeah, please. So apologies to YouTubers if you are experiencing some slowing down tonight. So this is still nice and warm in here now. It's great. I've set, it's not setting. It's nice and warm, so I can keep that going while I'm just getting my other colours and say once you're back it's absolutely great because you just keep putting your bags back in the microwave and they're absolutely fine that's how cold the kitchen's been today they was only done before and I can't believe how much they've set mm -hmm. so you see we're getting a really good lot of colours here aren't we gorgeous and is this great thing with these poppers is and you do them in lots of nice different colours they're so bright the children are going to absolutely love these in fact I think some grown ups are going to really love these as well because it's chocolate they just look cool and funky they don't they certainly do here we go yeah. so that one's done there that's great and then the last one going in is my blue one I'll just give this one a bit of a stir because it's still there 
yeah. solid. Thank you for that. Right, so what I'm going to start doing now, I'm going to start by just nipping off the very top of the bag. You don't want to have these holes too big. And I'm going to start with the horn. And I'm doing that a nice full like cover. Before, before you go racing ahead, yes. we'd like to be able to... Can you see it now? Sorry. Like to be able to see it. Yeah. Can you see it now? I'm going up to the line. These have lines in them, so I'm going up to the line. And then let's do some red. Again, the tiny snip on the bag. And I'm doing the holes first, the little poppets first. Doing the little poppets first to make sure they're filled. And then I'm just going up to the line with the chocolate. Do a green one. That's a bit, little bit, there's a little bit, oops, a little bit solid. It's not now. Look at that coming out now like that. <laughs> it's hot that chocolate as well. Can you eat this? Uh, Just the end piece, isn't it? Yeah. The peach. Lovely. I think I oh, did. I did. I knew I had. I think I had a lump in that one, you know. And I got a green. What do you need? Spatula. Mm. Yeah, just a green, just to bring go. it back onto. Just bring it back oh, in. I flick chocolate on myself as That's well. That's all right. So it doesn't matter if you go because you're not going to go over into the. It doesn't matter because on the back over. There we go. Just get that like that, and we'll put some. Yeah. I also, you know what is a good, another good thing to use, Claire? Uh huh. It's a couple of these. Uh, good idea. Good idea. I've just got the the bamboo um, cotton wool buds there, just just to take it out of my the hole there, because it'll be nice. It means that the other colour won't run into it. There we go. Did you spill it on the floor, did you? Yeah, I'm on uh, And on you as well. You know what I'm like. Sorry. There we go, we took it out of there, so that's okay. Now let's get some peach in there. And I've got another spec section here to do. Do another yellow bit, some of the blues, the blues on its way. There we go, and then we're going to end up with a bit of blue down there. If my assistant will work a bit quicker. Yes, Leslie, that is, <laughs> it is chocolate coloured with colour mail. Do two jobs here, pal. <laughs> You're doing <laughs> She's going to run off before. <laughs> there we go, and then the last one there. Get that lovely blue in. And then what we're going to do now is, we're now... Tracy Scribbins loves that, Karen. We're now going to put on... What about your stick? Okay, thank you. We're now going to put on, over the top, is just... We've put that straight over the top. And we're now going to put on the, that one. And then just gently squeeze it. And you can see that the chocolate is going around the edges. And then that's going to go in the fridge, that way up. So look at that. It's How beautiful. cool. Let's turn it around the right way. There we go. How cool is that? I mean, look at that. So I'm going to put that in the fridge now. Let's just do... Could we do this other one? Because then I will... I thought, where's the other piece gone to it? It's there. So while I've got these, I'm just going to do... Yellow in this one here. And let's get a bit of red in there. 
if you remember, it's uh, sealing at the bottom, just give the bottom of your bag a nice little squeeze and the dried chocolate comes out because it's still lovely and melty, this. Leslie says it's uh, beautiful, that Karen. She says it's beautiful these molds, as usual. These moulds are absolutely excellent. They're great and they, I think the children will love it because <laughs> they all love these poppets, don't they? I'm laughing here because Pamela Poundsett's just said that I'm being way too well behaved tonight. Because <laughs> I'm sat here and I'm right at home doing my usual shenanigans. <laughs> She's got to be behaving. <laughs> yes. So there we go. So I've got those in there. So while I'm, whoa, while I'm here, let's just get this one done. About two for the price of one, what do you say, Claire? Yeah? Absolutely. Oh, I really like the rainbow in those colours, by the way. Because I wasn't looking at, you yeah. know, I was looking at this. Very nice. Everybody says, need, need that. You need, you need. They're all, when they casting aspersions about my personality. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm very pleasant and polite. Mm. 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 <laughs> Back me up, Karen. <laughs> supposed to be my friend. <laughs> and then let's just get that bit of blue in there. So, as I say, it doesn't matter. It goes over the back because I'm going to put this on now. So, I've got my little shelf going over there. I've got my little shelf going over there. We're now going to put the lid on like that and then just gently press. Gently press, I've got a lovely rainbow of colour on the back there, rainbow of colour there. Turn it over and <gasps> look at them. So professional! Aren't they good? So let's get these in the fridge for now. Do you want to do anything for a minute? Me? I'll get these in the fridge or do you want me to do one at the BWB more quick and then... I can do whatever you like. Well, tell you what, you come and do your first bit then. Okay, I'll do my... Um... My uh, origami cake, shall I? Absolutely. Origami, anyone? Melt some chocolate first. <laughs> Let me sit down. It's time for my sit down now. Okie dokie. I'm just going to get myself a wee spatula. I didn't even clean up after myself. I'm so sorry, Claire. I just left chocolate on there. Well, you know. See, the thing is, Karen says I'm really messy. But <laughs> and the lady says, Claire, is. your tongue's going to turn blue telling pork. He's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all being like this? Nikki said it's almost like Karen's done this before. It was mm. the first time yesterday and um, it took a, a bit of getting used to looking yeah. at them all and realising that you actually work it back to front on these poppet ones, whereas you'll see me do it the correct way, well not the correct way, a different way, with the um, Santa's hats in a moment. I um, was slightly perplexed by those moulds, to be honest. When, they, when I first saw them, but so, brilliant. Janie, I'm using to fill the mould, it was our s &C tempered chocolate which I've coloured with colour mill. And that's all I just used, the white tempered chocolate and I coloured it with the colour mill. And it's absolutely, those colours are striking, aren't they? They are beautiful. So, what I have is origami cake wrap. So, there are four different types of this on the website, aren't there, Karen? Four different types there is. of origami there is, there is. Yes. so four different patterns. So I used one today and I'm going to use a different one tonight. And I think I'll go for this really pointy one. Well, Nicola Rudd's been excited because she's got two on order. Has she? Yes, yeah, so you're down to see you how should be able to wait. Um, I need to put a pair of gloves on because I need my gloves on. Sarah, uh, Can't live without them. Claire's only stayed behind tonight because she didn't want me playing with all the chocolate moulds. <laughs> when she knew them, when she knew they were coming, she went, "Can I play? Can I play?" So we decided, you know what? Let's nice do a joint, play, a joint live. So yes, that's why I'm here. Aren't you lucky? Easy for the, the sleepover. Yeah, she's had a sleepover with Nana, so I'll stay and play. So Pamela says she needs these wraps. Please save one until tomorrow when I get paid. Well, they're on the website now, and we do have a run about twen uh, 20 of each. So They are fantastic, though. Sheila, the colour mills, they, you, it doesn't take a lot to colour your chocolate, no. so you, you'd actually... I know you said you need, like, the five colours there, but it, they last for ages because you only need a few drops to get to the colour that you want to. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot. Okay, give that another. And step. Sarah said she wanted to share the fun. I'd have wanted to play too. 
Well, when it's chocolate and it's new moulds and we both get excited. Yeah. Absolutely. There was an element of that. And always, I feel like, I get home and then I put the live on and I feel dead left out. <laughs> <laughs> so, why not stay? I thought you guys probably haven't seen me for a while. You might be missing me. They always miss you. They're not really saying that, are you? You're just buttering me up there, Karen. No. Um, <laughs> Now she understands the chocolate collar mold. Yeah. Karen Williams is saying, what size cake does this fit, please? It's a six-inch cake. Six-inch, but obviously you can make bigger and you can piece them together as well. That'll be fine. But I'm mm. working with a six-inch cake. But I'll tell you a little bit about the mold now. So it's uh, just one piece, flexible, pretty flexible plastic. Um, and obviously there's a, a pointy outy side and an inny side, and you want to use the inny side. <laughs> Does that make sense? There's an inny side. Use the inny side. So, if I have it that way up, you can see, kind of, that it points outwards on that side, and then the other side's more like a tray. They say they so do miss the tray. List. Yeah, I um, believe so you. So, that's from Curran. Is that Kit Curran? Kit Curran, yeah. Um, could you use that pattern on sugar paste? The mould? Mm. No. And there also was to go, can you use it like Bridget's, Bridget's cake liner? Uh, what for? With ganache. Ganache. I don't see why it wouldn't work with ganache. I haven't tried it. Um, I think you'd still use it in the same way as you're going to do now, wouldn't you? With yeah. ganache? Yeah, while it's still quite liquidy. Yeah. You'd want to use it. You, you wouldn't pour the ganache down the side. You'd just pour it over that. Yes, you'd... Point. Yeah, wrap exactly how I'm going to round. use it yeah. now, yeah. And Sheila, I know you say you're making these molds for your granddaughters, but the colour mill, it also colours your buttercream, it colours your sugar paste. Yeah. So you can just use it on the different things that you want to as well, so it wouldn't just be, it's not just it's the chocolate. It's a very versatile product, really. Yeah, you can use it on uh, on sugar paste and on buttercream. Um, you sound like a belly button, Claire, and in the Orinalti. <laughs> yeah, kind of does. Right, so I'm just going to do a quick pour on here now. Um, I'm completely melted, and I'm just using the milk chocolate. This is the this is the sugar and crumbs tempered chocolate, so I don't need to do anything with it. Just melt and pour. And I'm going to start at one end, work my way down, and then fill in around. And you can use calibre chocolate, Patrice, but uh, Patricia, but you would have to um, temper it. With our S&C tempered chocolate already, you can just melt and pour. But with Calibo, yes, you can use Calibo absolutely, but just make sure you temper it correctly. And it is Patrice. Yes, Karen, it's Patrice. Get your, eyes, get your glasses on. Tracy says she wants the unicorn and the rainbow poppets mold. But we've got a love heart one as well. And I'll get, we've got an, an ice lolly one, which I'll show you again in a bit. But I'm not going to do them because I've already done a couple. But I'm going to show you the ice lolly I've done. And I can get the heart one out and show you the heart mold. So we've got quite a lot of the poppet molds. They're absolutely excellent. So I'm just giving this a jiggle to see how much more I need to pop in. And, you know, it doesn't matter if it spills over the edges because I did spill mine before. But that doesn't matter. You can just give your edges a little clean. You want mm -hmm. to make sure you've covered it, otherwise you're going to knock some of the pattern off if you don't yeah, cover it Yeah, absolutely. All. You just need to make sure it's full. So if it overspills, it doesn't matter. You can just scoop that up and remelt it. Um, but you'd rather overfill, like I say, with everything, overfill rather than underfill. It'd be lovely to get everything perfect every time, but that doesn't work like that for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> it never works for me either like that. I'm just checking our stock now. Okay, and I'll just give that another jiggle. And I think I'll definitely get some spillage this time. So Alison's asking, how much chocolate to fill this mould? Um, it does say on the packet, doesn't it? I'm sure it does. I'll double check that in a sec. So I'm just giving that a little nudge into the corner with my finger because I've got my gloves on. If you're not wearing gloves, use a palette knife or something similar. But I've always got my gloves on. Just so I can make sure I've nudged it right up to the edges. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to run my finger along to clean that up. Sylvia's had her eye on these um, on these wraps, so she says she's glad that you're doing it. 
Yeah, they look, they come out really lovely. So I just need to pop a little bit in this end. Although I might just see if I can get away with nudging here. So the tempered chocolate, we have the dark chocolate and we have the milk chocolate in both uh, 500 gram packs and 1 kilo packs. Unfortunately, the white chocolate is out of stock. Uh, we sold like crazy and our supplier has gone out of stock with it as well because we cleared him out. But he is going to let us know as soon as it comes in and then we can get it for you and we will let you know ASAP. But we have got milk and we have got dark on the website. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop this to the side for a sec and just clean up my surface a little bit. So what we need to do now is wait for this to firm up some. So the moulds, you can look in the Facebook wish list, they're all in there now. Yes. So go to the Facebook wish list and you'll find all the moulds there. Everything that we're using tonight is in that wish list. And Nikki said you can eat whatever's over spills. Yeah, totally. Of course you can. <laughs> I mean, you can really, you can sort of scrape it up and remelt it if you've spilt quite a bit, but there was only a little bit there, yeah. so just a quick wipe. Because that's another good tip as well. If you did it and did it onto a piece of grease proof or yeah. baking parchment, you then could let it set and you could take all those bits off the grease proof and put it back in your bowl again. Which in hindsight, probably a good idea. Yeah, but we're here. <laughs> <laughs> So Tracy's thinking of making these poppets for her granddaughter for Christmas. Yeah, the fab. And don't they? forget, flavour your chocolate as well. Use your flavour shots. So mm. you could flavour your chocolate. You could do strawberry milkshake. And if you wanted to, you could flavour your different colours and then they would get a different taste in every bite. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially when you do them with the rainbow colour. Definitely. Yeah, well, that would be a really good. Like, you, could do the, you could do the lemon drizzle, the strawberry milkshake, uh, you, the salted caramel, which Claire would come round to your house and get off you. Yeah, straight around there. <laughs> if you ever want to meet me, just you know, bake something in salted caramel, I'll be all over it. There we go. It's yeah, thanks, cake. Karen Neely. You, you, you're sticking up for me there. And Claire said I was messy. <laughs> Karen, <laughs> thanks. So, um, I think Karen, this Karen, yeah. we should swap over for a few minutes mm -hmm. again because that needs some setting time. That's absolutely fine. Can you sort of move it upwards somewhere? I will absolutely <laughs> move it up here. And that's so, going to take maybe five minutes. Patrice, the wish list is on our Facebook page. If you go to our Facebook, uh, on our, sorry, on our website. Yes, you go to our website and it, you, you just go down and it'll say Facebook Live. It'll say wish list with today's date. It's on the drop down, On the drop it? down. So go on the little hamburger in the drop down and then it says wish list. Today's date and then everything that we've used is there. What I'm just going to try to do now, just bear with me one second. I will come back in a minute. I'm just going to put okay. the link up for the wish list. I'll just just talk to you quickly just talk for to a second. Quickly. Yeah, absolutely. So this is going on a six inch cake that I've crumb coated in buttercream. Uh, that's all it needs. It will stick to the buttercream absolutely fine. So the chocolate's not going to be completely set, but it needs to be set enough for us to lift, but not so set that it cracks when we pick it up. So it's in that, that fine line sort of stage between set and not set. So we're still way too liquid right now. So it'll probably be about five minutes and then it'll be ready to lift onto the cake. But I'll be back to show you that. Right, there you go Patrice, I've put we'll the link on for you for the wish list. Thank you. <laughs> oh, change. <laughs> I'm back. So, have I got some green left? I've got green in here. I've got green. And it's still, so this one is, it, this is, I'm going to do it the right way around for you. I'm getting to all the fuffle now, aren't I? So many bits and pieces. It is. Right, so this is your three part mould. You've got your first part, you've got your inners, which is your plastic mould. Please don't ever throw these away when you get them with your BWB moulds. You do need them, as you saw with the poppets, but these ones, you really do need these ones now because I'm going to show you what to do with these. And then you've got your lid. Now, on the BWB mould, it just states how much chocolate you need. For this one, for each wreath, you need 19 grams of chocolate. So you could weigh out your 38 grams if you wanted to, and you would get two wreaths for that. So what I'm going to do now is, my chocolate is still nice and soft. I've got it a little bit hard at the top there, so I'm just going to squeeze, squeeze that out into my green jug. And as 
you can see then my chocolate spurts out again now on these you do have a fill line and the fill line looking at it the fill line is just just on a par with the wreath design so it's just about there where the wreath design is there so i'm going to fill the chocolate up to that make sure that is right yep yeah. shaley you've been missing out she didn't know that you could use the flavor shots in the chocolate and not alter the consistency oh i yeah. know she's been missing out for a while now beautiful Now I do like to use a piping bag as I find that it's got a bit more control over it. So I want to make sure that I've got enough there. So if you do overfill these, it doesn't matter. Because you, it's, uh, as I show you, it will this snap off. I've put my plastic inners onto there now. And then I'm going to put the lid on. Like that. You see, you've got to make sure you get it right way around. Yeah. And then you just gently press it. And then I am getting the chocolate to go around that edge. Now it's most important that you see the outer edge there, that you get the chocolate onto the outer edge because if you wanted to put the wreath together and do it as a solid wreath, you know, as, as an as a ornament, then you would need those nice sharp edges there to be able to melt it, to heat it and stick them both together. Kathy Fricker, the um, origami moulds are £9.75 on the website. Right, some baubles. Lorraine Pike says the shots are amazing in chocolate. They certainly really are. Good. Now with the baubles here, again, you've got, you've got your inners, you've got your bottom bit there, and again, the, the, the uh, fill line is a third of the way from the bottom there, so it's like you've got, the fill line is a third a third at the bottom, so then you've got two thirds chocolate, you've got two thirds mould. So I would only fill the mould to there. Now on these, sorry Simon, I'm just trying to get it in. So they, on these, a lot of people, what they do do, that's where my fingernail is there, that's where the fill line is. On these, some people get a sharpie and just mark the outside, just even if it's a couple of dots, just so that you know when you're in your kitchen, you know where you're putting your fill line up to, so you don't want to waste too much chocolate. Now I can do these in different colours. I can, in fact, I will, never mind, you can do it. I am going to do them in different colours. Why not? Why Go not? for it. We're going to have, you see, and that now has that gone. That's all your chocolate. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. That now has gone quite solid at that end there, but it's nice there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give that five minutes. No, just five minutes. Don't give it five minutes, Karen. <laughs> five <laughs> seconds. No. Oh you know no! What happens when you give it five minutes? If you give it five minutes, believe you me, you get a really bad smell in the kitchen. You get a bowl with bubbling white chocolate that's now turned black. Yeah, it's not. It's not, not good. good. It? I'm not speaking from experience, like. Am I clear? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Not that I know of. So I'm just squeezing. It. Most of it is melting now. I've just got a little plug in the top of my bag there. So I'm just going to squeeze the chocolate so the plug comes out. There you go, look at that. We've got chocolate out again now. Beautiful. So let's see where the line is again. I have to look. Yeah, I think lots of people use a sharpie on the outside. Yeah, just so it does make it, it a bit easier. It does make it a bit easier, otherwise you do you do struggle, don't you? Mm. Yeah, if you try and colour the milk chocolate, it doesn't it doesn't really colour well um, no. because you won't get the vibrancy of the colours. But you can obviously use the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate to um, turn black if you want to use black colouring in those. It's better to use a, a milk or a dark chocolate for that. But you would you wouldn't be able to get your vibrant colours from a milk chocolate. Now I am just going to Sam is going to kill. I'm just going to hold it up there. I just need to see it into the light. Sorry, Simon. It's because I just wanted to make sure I was getting it to. That's what you have to do if you haven't marked it. If you haven't it, marked yeah. it, you do. Pen. Yeah. If you haven't marked it with a marker pen. Yep. Well, it depends how good your eyes are, really. But yeah, my, yeah, yeah marker pen, yeah, definitely for me. Pamela says, don't forget to breathe. 
but she, she knows that you can, she can tell how much you love it. <laughs> He's in the mouth. Don't forget to breathe. I know, it's because I just want to make sure I get in there just a quick... Oh, well, that won't have enough there, you know. Squeeze the can back You can always down. add a bit of blue and yellow. Doesn't matter if it's multicoloured, does it? No, it'll look very jazzy. Antonia Regan says all the moulds are absolutely beautiful. And she's right. She certainly thinks that ones. might be a bit too... Give it a try, you never I'll know. I'll give it a try because that might not be... Um... Might not be the best, that one. No, only because it's... it's uh, I think it's set too much, that one now. But I'm going to see what we... No, it's set too much. Um, Don't like that. Liz, you have, you have missed me filling the mould, but I've not attached it to the cake yet. So you've not missed all of it. But obviously you'll be able... You can watch it after the... After the live, you'll be able to watch this as a recording. Oh, Lorraine. Lorraine says she'd be, as, she'd be as happy as you if she had your job and your talent, Karen. What's she after? <laughs> right, Lorraine, thank <laughs> you. So, I've just... Uh... I'm just keeping my eye on my collar there, Karen, because yeah. um, I don't think it's too far off now. No, it's not, it's not. And you, I know I'm just going to go in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to, look, I'm going to forget about that other bauble there, because I, I know we're short of time for doing that. So I'm just going to put these in, gently squeeze down. So you're making sure you're getting your chocolate into your hangy bit as well. You hangy bit. <laughs> <laughs> you've been hanging around with me too long. So you've got your chocolate going all the way around your rim, and then you've got um, chocolate going around the rim, and then you've got it going into that bit now. Now these are going to be multicolored because they're actually going to put two together, and they will be multicolored. Now if you wanted to, you could do them as two reds, two yellows, and that, and you could do a few, and then you could add them together as solid balls. But look at them. Don't look at that one. Don't look at that one. Just ignore look that at, one. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous colours? So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put like a you know what I'm gonna put a peach and a blue together. And I'm gonna put a yellow and a red you're together. Gonna, you're gonna you're gonna swap places with me. And I'm gonna swap. I need to get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh blimey! <laughs> Out you go. This is like a generation game. Is it, it is. It, it is quick. a bit. So buttercream cake and my mould is lovely. It's still soft, but not very very soft. So. Pick up, it is still flexible. All we're going to do is wrap it around the cake. All the way around. And it should meet at the back there. And it will just stick to the buttercream. And yes, Patrice, I've put the moulds into the fridge now, uh, just so that they can sit. You can leave them out to uh, air dry if you want to, but for quickness, I have put them into the fridge, just so they'll set. I've put the poppet moulds in there before as well. Okay. I would actually this time, Karen, like a little bit of tape if you wouldn't mind. Could Absolutely. you just have some out for me? Yeah. And we'll just put some tape on this one. I think I left it just a few seconds too long. Did I just take that? Yeah, it's all your fault. All my fault. That's what happened. Just blame. So a little bit of cellar tape on there, yeah? Yeah, just them on the back of the mould for me. Just to hold that together. Thank you. And then I'm going to pop this in the fridge and we will reveal it. There you go, is that all right? In the not too distant future. Don't yes. more on. No, that's perfect. Right, there we go. Super. Thank you very much. So what I'll do right. now is... In the fridge. I'll be back. Just room me that one. That one? Yeah. I'm just going to check on my poppet mould that I put in the fridge when we first started. In fact, Thank what we'll you. first do is... We'll have a tidy. Yeah, put a bit of a wipe down. We'll have a bit of a wipe down. Because Claire's so messy. Hey! <laughs> now, now, now. It's all coloured chocolate, that is. It's a cheeky wrong thing. Have we got any questions while we're going? So, yes, um, I do put my moles in the fridge. I've just, um, we were, I've got a fridge behind me, so I was waiting until Claire was doing her collar then, and then I put them into the fridge behind me. Right, so, this is the, sorry, uh, Debbie, I used the pyramid sheet um, collar mould. Now that's the pyramid one. Um, everybody's proper loving all of the moulds. Uh, 
Nikki King's saying kissy kissy to you. Everyone's <laughs> your friend tonight. Um, everybody's loving loving all the moles, loving the. Um, I know colour. some. I know some people said some are sewing out of stock, but I think Carol's put some more orders in, hasn't she, Claire? Yeah, Pamela says if um, if you clear out of those wraps before tomorrow, she's going to sulk. <laughs> Be warned. <laughs> Uh, Antonia how did, wants to know how you got the fab colours in the chocolate because she missed the start. Colour mill. Absolutely love it. I've got my, I've got two here just to show you the bottles. I use colour mill in the white chocolate and all I did was I just start off with two or three dots and then I just add it dot by dot until I get to the colour that I want and it's best, you can, all you really can colour is um, white chocolate. Your milk chocolate you can colour black but you can't really colour, your milk chocolate won't take to go to a red, it needs to be your white chocolate and colour milk or you can if you wanted to use you could use sugar flare cocoa butter paint if you wanted to as well and you melt those down in the microwave and you can add those to your white chocolate as well um, Patrice, I just answered your question about what I've done with the cake after wrapping it I've put it in the fridge but I'm typing with my gloves on so I've written Justin instead of just in <laughs> so it's just in the fridge, not just in the fridge, okay? <laughs> what are you like? So what I really wanted to do, I'm going to have to melt some more white chocolate and colour it red for them because I'm going to have to, I want to do Santa. Yeah, so do I do, Santa. I really do want to do Santa, but I've got those out now, so let's get some white chocolate in there. Beautiful. So I'm going to put this in for 30 seconds. Again, it does take longer than 30 seconds, yes, but only do it on 30 second blasts and then keep giving it a shake and give it a stir because uh, the heat, it melts from the inside out and you don't want to get a brown spot of burn into your white chocolate because it just, it, or, you do, or any other chocolate, it just absolutely ruins the taste of your chocolate. You can't use it and it smells terrible. So really do take care when you are melting your chocolate and only do it on short bursts. Don't think... Oh, I'll put it on for a minute and it'll be fine because it can always take that one little notch just to burn and the whole lot's spoiled. As you can see from that, but I had, I had some chocolate at the bottom there, so that's still set solid. I want to make sure that all the chocolate is melting together. So even though they haven't quite started melting yet, I still give it a stir because of the chocolate at the bottom. So here we go. Look at these. The gorgeous carrots. So what we're going to do now is, I'm going to take the top mould off. What are you doing? I like that. Take the top mould off. So then we're left. As you can see, that was more than ready because it just, it's absolutely come out. Uh, you can tell they're ready because you get like a bit of a milky, a milky glaze over the top. And that shows that the chocolate is coming away from the mould, so therefore it's ready for coming out. So what I'm going to do now is, because I don't want to lose the shine on these chocolates, is my trusty, my gloves. My trusty gloves. I always do like to wear gloves when I'm taking the chocolates out of the mould, so I am not getting fingerprints over them to lose the shine. And also, if you are going to dust any of your chocolate, especially if you do the dark chocolate or the milk chocolate, and you get your the heat of your hand, you get fingerprints on the chocolate, you find your dust doesn't go over it. It's like CSI, you still get your fingerprint there. Here we go. Uh, Beverly, we'll, we will show you the moulds again at the end, won't we? All the moulds that we've Absolutely, used tonight. Absolutely, I will show you. So all I'm going to do with this one now is I'm just going to gently peel the mould away. And I'll just take the edges up. And yes, this piece of plastic gets crinkly. You wash them in warm, soapy water. And they look like they're going out of shape. But once you put them back into the mould again, they just take the shape again. So any bits, I just break off there. I don't know why they're all picking on me. Karen made the mess. They're all saying they wouldn't want me in their kitchen. Yeah, I know. Terrible, isn't it? <laughs> it wasn't even me! <laughs> So very carefully, I'm just bending this over. You don't don't rush it because if you rush it, you can you can don't drop them. You can drop it, yeah. 
All right, Simon. Well, I'm not much to say. So tonight. there we go. Look at them. You've been you've been lovely tonight, haven't you? Nice They're and quiet. They're gorgeous, aren't they? <laughs> nice and, and quiet. Well, last. And imagine were. that if you've if you've done these and you've done them all in different <laughs> flavours of the flavour shot. So you, if you've done raspberry Ooh, ripple, that's an amazing idea. Yeah, you know, raspberry ripple there. Then you've probably done uh, lemon drizzle there, something like that. And then that one, it could be like your velvet vanilla, or you could actually you could kid them by putting white chocolate and raspberry Ooh, yeah. on the green. <laughs> So that's a bit Heston, that, isn't it? I know, it's a bit, you know, mess with the <laughs> minds. Does that? So here we go, we're going to take, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put the unicorn, it's down on there, and I'm just going to very carefully, it's ready for coming, it's ready for coming out, but you just want to be really careful when you poke, when you're just bringing it out. There you go. <laughs> They're too funny, this lot. <laughs> I can't, I can't do two things at the same time, oh, sorry. I broke my horn. Oh, oh no. Karen. But I'm going to show you how to stick it on. Yeah. You know what I didn't do? I don't think I did the horn thick enough, believe it or not. Yeah, possibly, because it's upper level, isn't it? Yes. But don't worry, because you're thinking, I'm not wasting all that chocolate, and my horns fell off, and it goes there like that. So we're just going to glue that horn on. Yeah. We're going to put a bit of yellow. Chocolate's very forgiving, isn't it? Chocolate is very forgiving. I'm just going to put the yellow back into the microwave, and then I'm just going to get my little spat, my little trusty uh, mini palette knife, and uh, we're just going to mend that because then nobody knows. And primary children have gone, oh yeah, chocolate. They've broken. Kevin. Yes. Could you just pop it back in the mould and pour a little bit more chocolate on it? You could, but I did that. Yesterday and it went over to the other chocolate as well. You could do that, but you've got to be careful that it doesn't start going over to the one. But you can, if you wanted to, you can just do this. Pamela says they look so neat, they look so good. But because, very Simon, impressive. because Simon's spoken, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? Oh, bye, Geraldine. You just hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll chase you around. You better yeah. add it, well, it was your idea. <laughs> so I've got some yellow chocolate there. Oh, one person likes me, it's cool. That's all right. Mate friend. Jen, Jenny says she'll have me around her house, so thanks, Jenny. So let's put that back there. Let's put my. I don't think you need that. I think that's just no. it. That's I think just put that back on just for now. Just so it's 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 moulding down. You see if you do that, Simon, oh, okay. it moulds down together there. So you might as well put your pieces on. Yeah, I think that's better to you, leave If you it put like your that. pieces on like that now. Give it more support. And then I'm just gonna leave that to one side for a moment. I'm not even gonna put it in the fridge, I'm gonna leave it there. I've got my white chocolate here, which I am going to colour red. So I'll take my clean gloves off. And I'm going to show you, I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, four spots of red in that and see how it goes. Oh, it's got a salmon pink colour. Lovely. So just now, one, two, three. Let's get in there. You're much more professional than me, Karen. I just squeeze it. You just squeeze it, it, do you? Yeah. See, I just like to, you can just squeeze it, but... I've got quite a lot of chocolate, but look at it's going lovely and red now. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, the, oh it is, it's very, very nice. Beautiful. Put that over there, out of the way. Right, we've gone as red as I want to go now. I've gone Santa red. I'm making sure that I'm just, I like using these glass jars because these glass uh, jars can go, you know, the uh, mixing bowls here, they can go back in the microwave, they're great. So, take that off there. Let's get our three part mould. I've been waiting for this one. You've been waiting I for this one. I was very excited about this one. You can't really do them in, in different uh, colours of chocolate because you're putting it all together, so you can't let one part set and do it. So, you have to do it all in one colour, and then we have to decorate the uh, fur trim up. I did try it, and it doesn't work because if you if one part sets up, the mould doesn't fit together, so you really do have to do it in one colour. 
It's just for these BWB moulds, but you know what? It's great. So, again, I have a fill line. The fill line is there. That's the fill line there, and that's where I'm going to go up to. And it's all the way round, even to the hat. Even to the hat? The hat fill right. line is actually on the top bit there. So it's, the hat has only got a little bit in, you know, the bobble. But the, bo the, bobble. The, the bobble, I meant the bobble. Yeah, Tracy Scrivens is loving that mould. She's desperate for that. Which palette knife did you use, Karen? Because I wasn't paying I, I used, reading um, comments. Is it the little PME? It or? is, yes, the PME yeah, one. Yeah, that's a, that is available on the website. The little tiny PME. Absolutely. No, What's no, it uh, called mini. Yeah, this one was it. This one, I'm going to get. I, I couldn't find it. I'm going to get the mini one out. That was just one of those uh, tools that we had for the. Um, oh yeah, for that. Sorry. But I will show you the mini, the mini oh, one. Okay. Is one that I can't live without. I think it's in the dishwasher, so I'm going to get another one out. So Would there you we like go. To get something for you. The, yeah, they're in, they're in there. In the big box? Yeah. So again, you just push this down and you make sure that your rim and the hat, everything is covered. I've got a nice line going all the way around there. I turn it over and I have got my Santa's hat. Now when this, when this is dried, I'm going to actually paint this up for you. I'm going to show you how to paint it up using our Wonder Dust. So we're going to get some white trim and a white bobble. And we're going to show you how to do that when it's dry. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to put that in the fridge in a moment. Let's see whether it's going to dry now. Because it was only a little bit of chocolate, wasn't it, Simon? It was, yeah. It was only a... Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Well, there we go. Find us a bat, I am. So you see, now I've got this here, and I had a little break mark there. Just scrape my chocolate along there. As if by magic, you can't even tell that was broke. Can you see the join there? Okay. I can't, no. As can't if by magic. Yeah. Like the joint. So, what do you think of that as well? So, imagine doing all these in different in different flavors. Wouldn't it be absolutely ace to have every row? Uh, as, even if you only use two flavors or three flavors, you'd, and they'd say, "Oh, I thought this was uh, lemon drizzle, or I thought this was a salted caramel." And you could even tease them and put a bit of coffee in there if you wanted that strip. <laughs> so, I've got those yeah. like that. I'm going to wait for my Santa's hat. In fact, so, could you see if my wreath has? I can absolutely see if you read set. See the wrist set. Um, because there's once a few people asking if Simon's okay because he's being very quiet. He's got no choice. Um, he's got two women in the kitchen. Yeah, oh, somebody's, Pamela says, it makes a change for me running around after you. <laughs> <laughs> so you are having a nice, <laughs> nice relaxing time while I'm... I'm not because I, I, I run around after Claire when she gets here in a minute. I'll be running around after Claire as well. What do you think of that, Karen? Do you think that's Oh, yes. Ready? You can tell it's gone milky. It's got like a bit of a, bit of a, milky. a bit of a, it's like an opaque milky, isn't it? Like frosted look. Milky. Milky. Love it. Take that bit off. Turn over. A gentle little. And you're going to have to be gentle with these ones. Don't press them too hard because you will break them. So you also can help by just getting the old, old of that bit and pull that. My pesky fingers. It's definitely a glove wearing job, that one, isn't it? It is. So again, I just make sure now that I'm just very careful because these are super delicate. Everybody thinks they look absolutely beautiful, though, Karen. They do, and I'm going to put my gloves on, because what I'm going to do is, before I decorate this one up, I'm going to join it. I'm going to show you how I join them together. Could you put that in the fridge for me? Of course, I can. So this has been, this microwave has been on and on, so it's nice and warm. So what I'm going to do now is give it a few seconds in the microwave. I'm putting a cloth down so my uh, board doesn't get a burn mark on, or a hot spot. We don't want the hot spots on our, on our boards, do we? We don't. Oh, crikey. Okay. 
So these are lovely. These are lovely just staying as um, single chocolates. You don't need to fill these. You don't need to put them together. I think these are just lovely as pop-it chocolates, these. I've got my warm plate there. So um, Deirdre Kessel's asking what the gloves are for. To stop any fingerprints going onto the chocolate so that the sh I don't lose the shine. Just across a little bit, Karen. There we go. So look at that. I've now joined them together and then you can use the glove because it's clean gloves. And I'm just wiping the joint. I feel like a plumber now. Wiping the joint. And look at that. I've got a lovely wreath there. So Gillian's asking if they would fit on a cupcake, Karen. Do you think they would fit on a cupcake? Mm. A little on the large side. A little on the they? large just, side. Just a little too. They'd probably just sit around the edge of a cupcake and then you'd, you'd need to sort of... Yeah. You could stand it up on the cupcake if you want to. Yeah, you could stand it up. You could stand them up like that on the cupcake. But I'm going to put some. I'm going to just decorate. I'm going to leave that onto one side, and I'll come back in a bit. When especially when I've got the hat, and I will. Have I got anything else in the fridge, by the way? Yes, you've got your Santa hats, and you've got your baubles in the fridge. I've got my origami cake in the fridge, but we just want to know the size of those wreaths, please. Sorry. It's all right. These wreaths are three inches. What's that in English? In eight centi eight woo eight centimeters. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Right, so I'm going to move these to one side, and I'm going to let Claire come back. Oh, thanks. Move them to one Hi side. You're you honoured. I am very honoured. Well, I'll tell you what. I've just oh, I just thought something. What have you just thought of? What time is it? Am I all right? I've got loads of time. Oh, you've got some time. You're staying there for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a bell. All right, okay. I'm just going to do the bells. Yeah, I can't right. wait to do these bells. So let's do these bells in chocolate because I fancy. No, I fancy gold bells. Oh yeah, that'd be really nice. And I want to use the gold as well. So so I'm just going to put that bit. chocolate in there. Let's melt that chocolate down. And again, these. <laughs> that was very quick. Again, these are a three-part mould. You've got one, two, three. These ones will go inside here. So I am now just looking for the fill line. And the fill line is along here and then along there. Because because the bottom is deeper, it's along there. But be very careful because when you turn it over, the fill line then goes up to practically the very edge of the bell so do follow your fill line and as other people have said use your sharpies on the outside if you can't quite see it but don't panic if you do overfill because if you do overfill it doesn't matter because uh, as you're taking the plastic as you're taking the plastic in and off you can carefully uh, snap the excess chocolate away right i've got that as nice and there we go that's nice and melted now Do you yeah. need a drink or anything? No, I'm okay. okay at this minute in time. I've just finished a little can of Coke there. I'm just hoping I've got enough chocolate for this. Oh, Jackie McMinn says this is like watching tag team wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of an accident there, Viv. I didn't mean to nearly take a finger off with the tape measure, so it was lucky that she had her gloves on. No, she did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if I take a finger off I can have a job That's what it is. so I've just used every single bit of my chocolate there I'm just hoping I'm looking at that because where the fill line goes to it's um, it's more than enough at the bottom so let's just give this a whirl and give it a try Nicola Rudd's little girl has just asked if uh, there's anything that you're not doing tonight Karen doing everything aren't you we're doing as much as we can we're doing as much as we can. I am going to come back on another live and do some. See, this is spilling out here, but I'm going to show you. I did, I'm going to show you what happens when it spills out. And that's not going to spill. I ain't getting off chocolate in that bottom bit there. Oh, 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 oh. Where's all the chocolate gone? So we've got a candy cane bowl, have we? 
We have got a candy cane mold. We're not yes. doing that one tonight. No, I'm going to do that. We are. We'll do that next week. Next week, we? yeah. Next week it won't be me. It'll be Karen. But that will that will be next week. Just gonna. I'm just gonna. Um, this is not set it, but it's going. It's actually going nice and hard. I'm just gonna get some of the chocolate here and just pour it down this bottom end down here because I want me uh, Belle to have a, a bottom. Um, Anne Reynolds asks, is it easy to put chocolate in the wrong side? And you know it is, you've watched me do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy oh, to put she, chocolate she in. I don't, I don't know if she's winding me up, but yes, and I'm, it's very easy, isn't it? To put in the, especially when you're at a demo, on a live demo, when you put the chocolate in the wrong side, and you of go, course. oops. <laughs> you, you don't do that kind of thing when you're doing it by yourself with nobody watching. You only do that do when there's an audience. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You do it when there's an audience, you do it, you're thinking, oh great, this is going fine. So I'm just going to pour a little bit more chocolate down here, because I was a little bit chocolate short. So what we normally do is we, we put all the pieces together, don't we, and then yeah. take it apart so we know exactly which piece that we've got in our hands. I've done it before where I had all my pieces separate and just picked up the one that was closest to me. But if you put everything back, the three pieces together, and then take them apart just before you fill them, that helps you keep track of which side is which. Here we go. That's better. I've filled my end bit now. That's good. <laughs> um, Tracy Scriven said it was a chocolate marathon. And Debbie Hargreaves said, don't you mean Snickers? <laughs> <laughs> that was a proper tickle for me. That's fast, Debbie. I like that. Right, that's fine. I'm going to put this over here. and then put that in the fridge. And I'm going to... Oops. Because I'm waiting it's for that. It's your turn. Just wipe down a minute. Okay. Wipe down for you. Do you want your turntable back? Uh, yeah, go on. That'd be nice. There we go. Oh, it's all crackly. It's all crackly. It's all crackly. It? Oh, that means it's all done, doesn't it? Means it's ready. I'm just going to take that out now because we will keep it warm for a minute when I want to put things together. Right, I'm uh, oh, I'm chocolate. Jill Cutty's asking if you could shut the mic first slightly more quietly. It's not what she said, but <laughs> I, I, I'm, um... Jill. <laughs> she I says see. every time you cl shut the mic away, she goes slightly deaf because she's got headphones on. I do, I'm guilty of that as well because I sort of slam it shut as I'm doing. <laughs> I want... Sorry, Jill. Brush. Sorry about that, Jill. I'll, I'll frown at her when she does it again. So, just making sure I've got everything before I get started. Put this back on here. Are you ready for the big reveal? It's very exciting. Here's the kitchen roll. Is there a big fluffy brush, Karen? We've got some big fluffy brushes out there, we did. I can't, if, you know, you all know that if there's something on top of something, I can't <laughs> see it. I'm absolutely Right, burned. my hands are now, oh, my hands are now clean. I think I was chocolated. Lovely. Oops. Then fell off the chair then. Are we ready? Exciting. Karen Horn says, whoops, another order's just gone in. Crikey. <laughs> it's what we like though, isn't it? Right, so I'm just going to pull this tape off the back. Yeah, so Leslie, I will be showing you, um, oh, sorry Maria, I'll be showing you, it looks messy those bells, but I'm going to show you how you break all those bits off and you can have those cooks treats. Oh, look at this. You ready? Oh, we're you watching. ready? We're, we're watching. watching. Can you hear it? Oh. It's oh. so beautiful. I'm so pleased with myself. That is so <laughs> gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? So shiny. It is absolutely so beautiful. So. Because I've just done this in the milk chocolate, I'm just going to give it a quick dusting with some Wonder Dust because I think that will really um, help you pick the out love the... love uh, and the wows are shooting up the screen that. there. And they're saying, Thanks, oh, guys. that's amazing. Wow, lovely. I definitely need comment reading practice. You're much better at it than I am, Karen. Much, much better at it. So we're just going to go on with a big fluffy brush. 
and get some gold straight on here and I am using the bright gold. Karen says I love that chocolate colour, order's gone in. It is beautiful. Wow, looks like this amazing. is the pyramid one. Yeah, looks amazing, that's amazing. Evening, Linda says evening. Right, so Claire, how did you know it was the right time to put the colour on the cake without breaking the chocolate? So the um, there was no sort of runniness left on the surface, it had gone like a matte colour. Um, matte colour? Yeah, it is. It, 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 got, it turned it's matte rather than off. shiny. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that is exactly the right time to pick it up. So, um, not quite set but not runny at all. So it, it just it just goes matte. It gets like, um, starts to look a little almost waxy, doesn't yes. it? Yes. On the back, and then that's the right time to pick up. So um, if you do get one of these and you're, um, you're worried that you might forget how I've done this tonight, or we, Simon and I have made a short video of how to do these today as well, and that'll be out pretty soon. So um, you'll be able to see again how to do this. And does the buttercream need to be soft when you're putting the um, column on? Well, that had that had already crusted over a little, to be honest. It's better if it's if it's still pretty soft, but I didn't want to crunk out a cake while you were all sat there watching me tonight because we want to get through quite a lot of stuff, so I just didn't bother. What gold are you using there? Bright gold. So you're using bright gold. Could you do rainbow colours on that collar if you wanted to? You could do you could I do ombres, couldn't you? You could do you ombres could do whatever if you wanted you like. to. Is it easy to cut this? This cake? Cut? Yeah. Well, it is chocolate, it's isn't chocolate. it? It's so chocolate. You might want to warm your knife up a little bit. You might want to cut exactly down the, the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> yeah, use the lines as a cutting guide. So it, it, the chocolate will be hard because it'll be set, but if you do a, if you do a warm a warm knife, as Claire says, it'll, it'll go through the chocolate. But you know with the edge cuts, it doesn't really matter. You just make sure you get some chocolate bits on the plate with the mm. cake. Mm -hmm. And what's the height of that mould? Well, that's have a look. So we know it fits a six inch, we know it fits a six Sorry, inch Karen. cake. It's if you want to do it as one, it fits a six inch cake. It is, oops, Daisy. Just about four and a half inches. So do that in, in re English. In, in, real t in real terms, yes. Alright. You said that to me. <laughs> I did. So that is eleven Centimetres. Centimetres, yes. And 11 centimetres. And that's the height of the cake there because it's just fit the cake perfect. Yeah, Karen's cakes were absolutely perfect for this. So you can fill the top with something. Um, I've used choco balls in the cake that we made earlier. But for this one, I'm just going to leave. The same, don't skimp on the wonder dust. Do I, do I look like I've been tight with it? <laughs> and then Chase is going, please stop, I'm going to have to close my eyes. <laughs> Lynn Louise says, oh my god, sorry kids, Father Christmas couldn't afford your presents this year because he knew I wanted all the moles. <laughs> Better luck next year. So yes, you are right, Karen. Um, you wait for the, uh, the you wait for the mould to look like it's gone opaque and then you know that the chocolate has set. So thank you for answering those questions for me. Right, that's it. That one is done. All the cake, all the cake moulds, um, all the... the the origami, origami, the origami balls. Balls. I kept forgetting that one. Um, really they well. are for they, 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 they fit a they fit a six inch cake. But yes, you could you could uh, do a four inch cake and cut it down. Absolutely. You could you know if you wanted to do you you could measure it up onto your um onto your mould and measure measure your, your four inch cake. Uh, if you want to do a larger cake, you just do an extra piece and you'll you'll cut it and sl uh, put it in like um, slotting a jigsaw together. Yeah, the the and the. They're pretty easy, aren't they, Karen, to use? They, they, you have done super with that. So, I think they'd be quite easy to, if you wanted to do a bit of cake, quite easy to <laughs> What are you laughing at now? Because, no, I think it's Carol's answer. You're not skipping on the wonder dust, they're just taking the mickey of how much she's used. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, listen, everything in here has been glittered and wonder dusted and lusted within an inch of its life today, me included, so... We, yeah. We're twinkling, I mean, when you did... We're when, all when, very when sparkling. Claire did that sparkly cake behind her, and uh, she was using the hobby core on it. I uh, I am absolutely... I am covered in... It was in the air. I'm just covered well, in you would normally, You see, you would normally do that inside yeah. a box, but <laughs> we couldn't today. 
because we were filming it, so you don't really want to film inside a box. But yeah, I definitely recommend inside a box when you do that. Yeah, right. so look at that, look and at the shine on that, it's gorgeous. I imagine that as well, you could, if you wanted to use the, the uh, magical moon dust. Yeah, oh yeah, the moon dust would look amazing on it. I just really like gold. Just put a Christmas tree on top of it now. Oh, I could just put all three on. Put all three on, there's a little decoration yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, the copper, you're right Karen, I love the copper. There we go, so you've got your yourself a little festive origami cake now. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? The white bit smell. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous, that. There we go. I'm going to take that away. From you, pop that So on. they said, Claire, we're just teasing you tonight. It looks stunning, says Leslie. It's Such absolutely meanies. gorgeous. Such meanies. Really good. The love them. hearts are flying up here for you. They, said, with, they, said, they said we're the dream team tonight. <laughs> I've been saying that for ages. Right, Karen. So have you got anything else you want to do or do you want me to carry on now and then you... you it's want... up to you whether you want to carry on or you want me to do my bit. My bit. It's totally up to you. I'll just see what those balls look like. I'll just push. get rid of these pieces. You ready to go? They are, but I'm just thinking, um, you know what, let me do Santa's... My beautiful gold hand. <laughs> I'll do Santa's hats and baubles, and then you can do your bit. Okay. I just think we get all the chocolate out of the way in there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that would be the best idea, that. Yeah. Because then when we clear down, then at least it'll be clean then for you doing your nozzles. Absolutely. Because Claire's going to show you the new set of nifty nozzles, uh, the new set of nozzles, the um, holographic ones and the, gold, the rose gold ones, and gonna decorate a cake but have we have we got to do something now is it somebody's special birthday i think it, it i'm not sure i mean we mm. don't usually sing anymore but <coughs> she's one of us she's she's our, one of us well, yeah, she's one very of us special she's very us, special she? to us is aren't you lynn and is lynn watching tonight has lynn been watching i haven't seen i mean lynn. are you watching because i'm not going to sing to you if you're not watching <laughs> But I know a lot of people were saying that they The door opened, there was oh, yeah, nobody there. Because I stood on the dog's leg. Oh. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to decamp these. My boss has put me in me. She, she walks in and I go, all of a flustered up. <laughs> <laughs> so Carol's just walks in, looking very bronzed. Very, very bronzed. In fact, me and Claire are very gelatous. We've come, suddenly gone like milk bottles. So um, she can, sorry, come. just answering a question quickly. Um, Shell for Shell, that was just a crumb coat with the buttercream. It's not a thick, a thick amount of buttercream on the cake beforehand. Just a little crumb coat there. I have to say, they look stunning, Claire. Aren't they gorgeous? They do, and I think... I they don't realise they're taking the mickey out of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, she's about, to, she's, about, she's about to put some more on. More. <laughs> but they do look stunning. I think, I think everyone's just going to love them. I don't even think that, the cakes have to be too straight either, do they? No, they don't. No. I mean, they have to be straight, but they don't have to be. Straight-ish. Yeah. Hello there, Rex. Mine well, were perfect, how dare you? <laughs> if you see a dog in the kitchen, I'm, I'm having to... We're looking after Wesley's dog while he's away on holiday. So, uh... I've lost a glove, but never mind. So, here we go. I'm just going to unpeel my baubles. Again, it's like I've done all the other moulds. They are so easy to come out. Just be really careful. And then I'm just going to turn the hot plates on. We're going to put a couple of these different colours together just to show you what they look like when they're solid as well. If you want them to be a, a lovely round bauble. Or you can make these and you could just decorate around the side of your cake. You don't need to make them as full ones. You can make them as lovely... Yeah, okay, here we go. Make them as lovely um, flat ones and just decorate the side of a cake with them. So here we go, let's get the pot plates out. <laughs> Leslie said, who's that fluffy tail? Yeah. <laughs> That's Karen. It's Simon. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, put my other glove on now because I'm handling all the chocolate. So go on, let's put these together. So as you can see, I'm just putting them onto my hot plate there. You can see me there. Just so they're nice and flat, straight together. I don't know if he's trumping that dog. Is he trumping? Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely something cabbage around. Yeah, he is. 
ears and he's sat there now deciding what's on the floor. There's nothing on the floor, so it's a bit of glitter. Think it was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a polite way of asking if it was me. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, they're a great size for chocolate bombs, I think, Jean. The baubles. Yeah, I just so, I knocked the little um, thing off the top of it. All I did was just pick it up then and stuck it down with the hot chocolate, and it's absolutely fine. Like me. So you see, you could have those like that. You can dust them up. You can leave them different colours. You can do them all one colour. You can then you can do wonder dust on them. The rule is your oyster when you're doing these. But I think these are great for these are absolutely smashing for chocolate bombs. And they're also great if you just want to make little treats. Rather when we, when we get they're the perfect ones for chocolate bombs. They certainly um, are. And also you could even get like your little smarties or your little jelly beans. And you could do them for the kids, you know, and they get little oh. little shaky ones rather than giving them a big chocolate. Because the Santa's boot, let's put... So as I showed you Santa's boot before, like that, that's what I did yesterday. And you can have that, imagine that on the side of a cake, as though Santa's oh, falling out of the chimney. But if you want to do it as a, as a lovely decor, as a, as lovely t um, a treat, just melt both sides. Carefully stick, great. stick together. I love that mould, Karen. Yeah. Fab, isn't it? I think Santa's boot's gone out of stock already. Has it? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Right, well, I guess I'll order some more. Yeah. Um, and bauble. And the bauble. Right, okay. I'll order some more now. I was going to say, ladies, when you see the prices on our website, our website is VAT inclusive. I've been having a little scout around and I've been thinking, why are these people selling them cheaper than me? So I've actually gone putting them in my shopping baskets and checking out and they're adding the vat on later. Ah, right. So, yes. Because you're paying an extra 20% that you weren't expecting. Yes, exactly. It's and a, a, lot of people don't a lot of people don't notice either as well. They, they check out, it's only later. So our, price, our prices on our website is all VAT inclusive. So when you, you, know, when you are looking around and you see them cheaper, just be careful. So can you see the extra bits of chocolate here on the edge and round there? I'm not bothered because I just take hold of my plastic inner, just take it out very carefully and you can see some of the chocolate starts to break off and if it doesn't you just, you just very carefully with your gloves on you can break it down because it just goes down to where it's supposed to be so then you've got perfect Hats. Now, do you want me to put those together as well? They're great. Though, yes, please. I'd right. like to see it put together. Thank you. Right. I'm going back to do what I was doing anyhow. But Min says, don't forget to show your Christmas tree off. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do that. Don't worry. <laughs> I think I was thinking no they're going to forget. No, a few things. people have actually yeah. show yeah. that. I think we're going to go slightly over tonight, Carol. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, I'm watching. <laughs> if anyone's surprised. Yeah. If anyone's surprised, no, no, we're going, going over tonight. But I think they'll be happy if you go on till 10. No, Rex, come on, you're not going in the bin. No, it's not that long. Right? <laughs> we're not doing midnight. No, no. No, it's not 10. <laughs> not the original, <laughs> not the original <laughs> finishing time. Right, come on, Rex. So all I'm going to do again well, is I've got the sheet, uh, the, the, the days that together. Oh, Leah's loving all these. She thinks they're fantastic, Karen. So look at that for Santa's hat, isn't That's there? Amazing. So what it. I'll do with that in a moment, I will um I will paint it up. So what I have got I have got um whatever it's called. A dish. A paint palette. <laughs> a dish. <laughs> I've got my paint palette and I put cling film in three sections there because I want to use confectioner's glaze. And if you use confectioner's glaze in the paint palette without the uh, protection of the cling film, you will uh, end up just staining your palette. So you need to put some, of the, some cling film in it. So I'm also going to use some dust. Where's my wonder dust gone? There it is. And I've also got my black. So I've got some black colour splash. Sorry, did I put everything away? I think. It's all right. I can reach that there. I'm sorry. In, I'm just going to show in my lovely, look at my lovely box. I love my box. <laughs> I can see all my colours. Ooh, and I'm like that. A charm and a sweet shot. Which one shall I choose? I think we'll have um, Snowstorm. 
Should we do snowstorm on his hat? Think that's yeah, nice? snowstorm. Snowstorm probably. on his hat. Uh, but Sheila Hudson, yes, it's on order. Mini Christmas tree popsicle yes. mold. It's on order. So some snowstorm in there. And then we'll get... Margaret's loving the tip with the cling film in the palette. Yeah, and then what you want to do as well is confectioner's glaze. I had it some... There it is. I've got my confectioner's glaze here. I'm going to put that into that other bit there. So that's the confectioner's glaze. I'm going to put... A new black. So I'm going to put some black. Black just in there. Sorry, Leslie, she's gone already. She's gone. She wanted to see a, a tan hand or arm or something to be jealous of. She's come back a lovely. Um, she's gold. She's absolutely yeah. golden. So a little bit of confectioner's glaze in there. And then mix it round with. So you see, it's a good idea to use this cling film. So I'm mixing it round with the snowstorm. So can you clarify what the two products are you've used? I've used. Because you called two things confectioner's glaze. That's confectioner's glaze. That was glaze cleaner. Ah, oh, right. So glaze cleaner for so cleaning first my one brush. You put in was glaze cleaner. Glaze cleaner, that's for cleaning my brush. If you don't clean your brush, you'll end up having to throw your brushes away. But if you right. use the glaze cleaner, as soon as you've used it, it saves your brushes, which it saves your, it saves your money as well, doesn't it? So let's just paint this. So I'm going to hold the... Whoa, no, I'm not. Before I do anything. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Layer it up. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do it on there. Because you don't want to get another, another thing. Don't get glaze. Don't get um, confectioner's glaze on your pink board. Or on your worktop. So you might have to do this a couple of times. I do it first, just to go all the way round it. Are we all right there, Simon? Are you okay there? Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. Because I just want okay. to go. I want to go over the kitchen roll. You see? Yep, you're perfect. So will you be putting a few layers of this on? I'll put two layers, and then I'm going to dust it. Right. to know what the black was for because but, I thought I was doing a boot don't worry about it I've, yeah. I've been, I've been looking at doing I, the hat, didn't you? And you thought, why have I put that I, I'm looking at that but I'm thinking why have I put black in there <laughs> Adrian you are quite right I have no idea where I put well black spotted. in there well spotted there was a little red herring the decoy, for you yes. yeah. and you passed the test my friend everyone well else failed <laughs> <laughs> including me <laughs> I know, I know yeah, Simon couldn't pick me up, that's well. great. Simon couldn't pick me up on it. I, I, I picked you up on the, the, the two confectioner's glazes, but I didn't see that. See, that caught me out. It might be time to stop picking up, you know, picking people up on things, Simon. Well, maybe really? I, should, I need to pay more attention so I can pick up on more things. Yeah. <laughs> see, I don't mind There's nothing we all like more than a bit of a mansplain, I honestly. Know, yes, we just I love know. that. I don't mind doing the dab, because if you do the dab, so it looks like bits, it looks like the snow anyway, you're doing the dab. You know, like the fur. So I'm just dabbing it because as soon as this is dry, I'm going to give it a quick dust. Carolyn wants to know, Carolyn Clee wants to know, does the glaze make the dust stick better and not come off on your hands? I'll soon let you know. It, yeah, it does. It seals it <laughs> on, basically. It's like convectioner's glaze is almost like um, an edible shellac for food. So you would, um, when you paint it on with the confectioner's glaze, um, it, it doesn't rub off at all. It doesn't smudge. But it's if you paint it on your hands, then. it does stick to your hands, doesn't it? It does stick to your hands, it sticks to your nails, it sticks to your, your table, board, it your sticks table. to your glasses. Like, never use spray glaze while you're wearing your glasses. That is a very expensive mistake to make. Talking from experience there, Claire? Yeah. No. No. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely talking from experience. So that was very expensive. <laughs> Um, and would rejuvenator not do the same as the glaze? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. No, it, it doesn't paint on chocolate well, does it, Karen? No, it didn't. It didn't yesterday, no, when I was trying it out. That's why I was 
doing all different things with it with Claire. It sort of beads up on the surface, yes. doesn't it? And then again, it would just um, the gla the um, luster would come away on your hands, and it wouldn't stick. I'm just going to stick stick that down like that because I'm just going to wait that just dry just a second. So you see straight away, I'm now going to put my brush in the glaze cleaner. Um, Nikki King, yes, cocoa butter would work. Yeah, it would. It would, yes. So look at that now. Look, my brush is lovely and clean, and it's still bendy, which is what cleaning it in a glaze cleaner really works. Kathy wants you to put the lid on the bottle of glaze because it's making her anxious. <laughs> oh, on, yeah, on that yeah, one. Yeah, please. <laughs> making me actually say now you said that. Is that, is that better? Is that better? Are you alright? So that better Cathy. Where is my... It was, yeah, it was, you know, it was next to the pink board. <laughs> yeah. It was like having a knife hanging over it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was quite worrying we for a while. We had to live on the edge. We? We, <laughs> Simon and I were just worried that because we were in here with you, when it happened, that we yeah. were going to get in trouble too. And why didn't you point it out to her? Yeah. Yes, there are a lot of people saying, can you use cocoa butter? Yes, you can use cocoa butter. I prefer the glaze for, for um So what are you doing there? Getting what I'm doing now is I'm just giving it a little bit of a, a little bit of a dab with our wonder dust because it's sticking to the pearlescent glaze. Sorry, not pearl, to the, it's sticking to the glaze there and the other. And it just gives it that all over yeah. shine. Is that the same stuff that was in the glaze? Yes, it is. And then let's just do his, um, just do his bobble. Oh, we want to know what size the hat and the boot are. Right, so then just, because I've used that on a glaze thing, that is going to go straight into my glaze cleaner as well. Perfect. Just so that I could uh, make sure that's cleaned as well. So that's a great idea, having your cling film in there. And then you do that as a measure. Sorry. So boot is eleven centimeters tall and nine wide. Hat is about. Can you see that? The hat is three three inches, which is eight centimeters tall, by uh, nine centimeters wide. Nine wide. Thank you. So you see now, doing that with the glaze there, both my brushes are still lovely and clean and good to go. There's nothing, I, I don't have to throw my brushes because if you don't clean them correctly, you will have to throw your brushes because they are no use to, no use to ornament. So I'll leave that on there just to dry. I want to see whether my bell's done because if the bell's done, I'm done. Um, Tracy says that effect looks awesome, Karen. Really good. It's great, isn't it? If you fill that with little, you could, you could, yeah. he said, you could fill that with sweeties. Uh, little sweeties or anything you wanted to and you'd have a lovely little shaky toy there. Yep, everybody loves that. Very, so, very pretty. So I'll put that over there. Just going to quickly... Yep. I was I was not panicking, but, you know, I wanted to make sure that, that actually was just uh, glitter on there. It was. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> I wasn't panicking, honest. Reva says that um, Richard's got his order in quick. Very good. Yeah. So let's put the boot Before there. Geraldine Allen buys all the goodies up. <laughs> so this is the last one I've got here. It's the bells. Now I sound like Quasimodo now, don't you, bells? The bells. The bells. <laughs> so I'm taking the bottom bit off. I'm squeezing very carefully. Oh, look at all the excess chocolate. What am I going to do? What a shame. What am I going to do? Oh, well, you're not going to have to eat it, are you? <laughs> no, she be a good girl and she'll remelt it. Oh. I'm quite sure. Okay. Mm. So just very carefully. I'm going to sort of get that bell out of there. I thought there's always going to be one that's a bit of a pesky. So all you need to do is, yes, we've got all that chocolate. Oh dear, look at that. They've just come off. And these are the sort of bits you can just get your dish. 
and put straight back in. It's amazing that, isn't it, how easy it breaks away yeah. because of the insert. Fantastic. Well, a bit thin on the bottom there, so my actually bell is going to be. I think my bell, to tell you the truth, is going to be. Ah, bell. So it's supposed to be a hollow bell. Hollow bell. There was me panicking trying to fill the bell with chocolate. It's supposed to be a hollow bell. So I'm just breaking a little bits there, just making sure I've got the lovely shape. You can just snip it with your fingers. I just I'm making I'm making sure my eyes are doing my eyes are all right there. That's making what you're not, doing there. not snipping the right one. Right there we go. So I've got a nice flat edge there. Yeah, you can use alcohol um, to to clean your uh, glaze brush as well, can't you? Yes, you can. A high a high high food grade ethanol, something like dipping solution or rejuvenate will work as well. Uh, Louise Williams thinks you should do a taste test. What does the, the inside of a bell taste like? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. <laughs> like coffee. Tastes like coffee. Coffee. Brilliant. Mmm. 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 No. Mmm. <laughs> good grief. It did taste like coffee. There you go. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Mm. So there we go, got my bell there like that. There we go. So the last thing to put together and glaze and then try and clean up for Claire. Frida's um, done one, she's filled hers with treats. So that was really nice. Yeah, the, the, we have the other we have the other bells on the website as well. You know the other bells? Yes. And um, they were great when we had all three sizes. Yes. They were the three they're size bells. Yeah, the three they, they're, that's the one, yeah, they're the ones you can fill. This one, I think this is absolutely lovely. This is going to look great on top. This is going to look great on top of a cake. Oh, what a snap. Karen nails there. It wasn't. Did you hear that snap, Karen? It was great, wasn't it? So I think, I know you've used... I do hate to interrupt, but um, Tracy wanted to know where the gloves are from. The gloves are from Amazon, and you can just put cotton gloves in on Amazon. I think Carol's put some <laughs> links on our Amazon page, but you can get on, on, you could get about ten or twelve pairs, and they're really they're really reasonable. And I just wash them on a boil wash when I put my towels in, like on a sixty or a ninety degrees. I just put the gloves in, and the, these go in with the work towels, which go in on ninety degrees, and they come out. They're great. Yeah, if you've used a lot of dust, they might be a bit stained. But they're still clean and they're great and they don't cause any finger marks on there. So I've marked. Excuse the plate now because I've got all uh, the colours of the rainbow on this plate now. Yeah, sorry. I'll come back to this. Uh, it was just um, that Leah wanted to know if the green trees are mould. But yeah, I'll show you that again in a minute, Leah. It I'm is just... mould or I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm just going to put that together Don't now. Don't worry. Oh, that is really on, nice. Yes, yeah, show it on there. So I'm just going to do face. that. There we go. Can you see it? Oh, you thought it was supposed to have a bottom on it. Yes, and it's yeah, not. It's not it's supposed not, to. It's an not, open bell. It yeah. is an open bell. So I was panicking, and I kept trying to fill the mould, thinking, why is the bottom not filling? And it doesn't I only... I understand what you meant. Sorry, only a, only a bit of the chocolate goes on the bottom, and that's why I was panicking, thinking I was going to... But it's an, actually an open bell, because it's got a nice, thick rim on the bottom. It's an open bell mould. That's lovely, that. So you know what? You've all been wanting... you all saying you love the copper. And we've had gold already, because Claire's done gold. So as Claire's done gold, let's have a gorgeous copper bell. What do you say? Think a copper bell? Yeah, I think so. Copper will be lovely. Here we go. A bit onto the paper there. I'm going to get a nice big uh, dusting brush. We're here for the long haul tonight, ladies. Just uh, FYI. We will not <laughs> be finished on time. Yeah. I bet we're going over now, aren't we? Uh, no, we're close. Like, somebody's just said, thank you, Karen and Claire. And I thought, 
Is it the end? Is it the end? No, no. no. Is, it, is it egg? Is that, we've got another bit to go yet. Another hour, yeah. I'm yeah. sure you yeah, can get all lucky. Yeah, another hour out of us yet. You're going to no, be lucky. Take an hour. You're looking right. forward to seeing what Claire's doing. So have we got Lynn with us? Has anybody seen Lynn? I haven't seen Lynn. Ah, oh, there's no point, no point singing then, is there? Well, she could watch it on catch up, couldn't oh, she? It just seems rude not to sing to Lynn. It does. Well, you know what? I'm going to show it. you everything that I've got now. So I'm going to bring my tray. Let me just bring this back here. Can I grab anything? Can I'm going to put them all on here so everyone can see what we've been doing. So this was the, the lolly mould I was telling you about. This is the uh, the, the lolly poppet mould. And that comes with a heart. So you get the lolly and the heart. That's all on one. Then have you, you've got the rainbow and that, which is what I did in this one, which I thought, oh, these colours are amazing, aren't they? So we've got the rainbow and the circle. Then we've got the unicorn. Bit, if you can, please, Karen. I'm coming up. Coming up. So we've got unicorn. And then here's the other unicorn I did today, and I mended it. To me, I mean. Oh, to I say you. That's the <laughs> You know, I wish you'd talk proper English sometimes. And then we've got our gorgeous Ooh. Santa's <laughs> hat. We've got Santa's boot, which I know, I'm sorry, Santa's boot's um, out of stock now, but Carol is ordering some as we speak. I'm going up there again so you can see Santa's boot. And then we've got our lovely bell. Can you see our gorgeous bell there? Baubles. And then we have our chocolate wreath, which you can then, you can decorate that. You could, if you want, you can stick balls on it, you can stick strands on it, you could put little tiny bits of holly on it. You could decorate that however you want. You could even, if you wanted to, get some sugar paste and uh, you could, with your extruder, and wrap it round like it was uh, twine going round and then stick all balls on it if you want to. There's loads of different things you can do with the holly. So I have finished, I think, I don't, I don't think I've got any more chocolate to show you at the moment. Everything's done. So all I'm going to do now is oh, move she's this. Here. she's here. She's here. Lynn, Lynn you're yeah. here. Right, she's get around here. Get around here. Get here. So Lynn, are you watching till the end though? Look, go back there and check. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Right, you're watching till the end, anyway. You'll be, you'll you're be watching here. Watching the you? end. You're so doing you're watching watching you're watching you're the end. Young lady, you'll do as you're told. You'll do as you're told. Are we ready? Are we ready? Has everybody else, have you all got your singing voice on? This is for our oldest office junior. It's our oldest office junior. We love her to pieces. And she's 70 today. So, Simon, have you got your tubes ready? <laughs> la, 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 la. Hang on. Oh, no, I'm happy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm definitely not ready. That was awful. Turn the gloves off. I don't see my gloves on. La, 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 la. Right. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Office Junior. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! 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 For well, she's a jolly <laughs> So, Lynn, we hope you've had a wonderful day. And we just love you to bits. We do. And we can't. And uh, I know you're going to pop in work tomorrow, so I can't wait. If we can see you, I will. If not, then you know I love you. So, let's get move these out of the way. Let's try and clear up. <laughs> Look at all this mess. You wouldn't catch me leaving a tip like this, Karen. Come on now. <laughs> so, we've got to get finished somewhere on time because we have got such a lot of cleaning up to do. Yeah. <laughs> but we love being Can't here we for just you. Do it so, in the morning, Karen. You know what? We just might do. Don't worry about it. I'm we not here. <laughs> it's just winding you up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So we'll do a quick clean up so Claire can settle down with her the new nozzles that are on site and I'll be I'll be shouting out the prices again to you and let you know how to order them, to put them on pre-order, what the prices are and when the offer finishes. So Claire, is that enough tidy for you? Yeah, that's right. Nice for let you. me get back. There we go. So we've still got a good half an hour yet, ladies, if you stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a good half an hour if you could bear to stay with us. You're not going to want to miss this, I know that. Don't pick me up too much. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a chair, Pet? Are you alright? No, I'm good, thank you. Are you good to I go? I understand, it is fine. Oh, crikey. Got lots of crying Right. Bringing all my bits over. So while she's bringing the bits over, let me tell you about our gorgeous new nozzles. They're in rose gold or they're holographic. 
The RRP is £14.99 for a set of six. We don't sell them separate, they are in sets. We, the, we are going to sell them on our website at £12.99, but you can pre-order tonight, and the offer is on for two nights, you can all pre-order, and they're £10.99 with free shipping. Now, you can buy both sets if you want to. You can buy the rose gold and the holographic set, and you can get both sets for £18.99 with free shipping. Now, this is until the 12th of November, and I think it will be... Um, midnight on the 12th of November when the offer is finished so please get those orders in you can have both sets for £18.99 now please select click and collect when you pre-order your nozzles if you add anything else to your order it will not be dispatched until the nozzles come in the nozzles are expected mid-December into our warehouse we could have them earlier but we are dependent on customs and the couriers getting them to us so if you order anything else then that order will not be shipped so if you need something urgent then you're going to have to order that separately from your nozzles any amendments to orders anything we will not be doing any amendments or any add to's or any unads we just need it once you've put your order in your order is in so thank you and Claire is going to show you these gorgeous nozzles. So Lorraine Pike's definitely staying. Nice one Lorraine. <laughs> Jackie's already ordered a new holographic nozzle. She says yay. They are so pretty. I love them so much. <laughs> Janie says, do the nozzles come with skills attached? We'll see. We're about to find <laughs> out guys. <laughs> Pat says, oh no, do we have to watch Claire filling bags? Uh, so, <laughs> no. Don't have to. No, no. Just change the camera. <laughs> yeah, so Jenny's, Jenny's having a nice glass of wine while she's chair. watching us. Lovely. And uh, don't forget, we have new and uh, also Carol's put on the website tonight. We have our new sugar and crumbs piping bags arriving in the building tomorrow. Well, hopefully tomorrow. They should be arriving before the courier leaves. But again, if you do choose next day delivery and the courier has already been for your parcels before <coughs> they bring the bags in, they will be dispatched on the next uh, free on the next next day delivery. Uh, there are there are bags that are. Um, marked with our sugar and crumbs they have our logo on them and we've got the chocolate bags coming in as well i love the chocolate which bags. is as you know it's our crinkly bags what i call the crinkly, crinkly bags because of the thinner bags that are absolutely perfect for your chocolate because you can tie knots dead easy in, <laughs> dead yeah, easy really in them and you'll love them i absolutely love using them for my chocolate so i can't wait so lorraine's famous is only because husband's watching rubbish on telly Oh, no, no, choice, cheers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, Lynn says, thank you so much. Well, you're she very special, nice time you're special out. to us, Lynn. Have you had a nice birthday? Did, you went out today, didn't you? She's been for a meal tonight, I think. Oh, how nice. Lovely, Lynn. Right, just give me two tips. I was going to um, just show you all of these nozzles separately, but we are running quite late, so I'm just going to pop them in the bags and show you them as I work. Okay. She's drinking Prosecco at the moment with her daughter-in-law. Nice. <laughs> Very, so are you nice. using all six here, Claire? I'm using millions of nozzles. You're using millions. Oh. I'm actually using um, parts of uh, two sets. So I'll talk you through now what I'm going to use. So I'm using one, because I only need one colour of leaves, uh, one of the leaf tips, which number is that, Karen? Show, can 52, you show, 352. Can 352. you show us? Yes, it's a oh, 352. It's got a little mouth, like that. Bird's beak, guys. Oh, kind of, yes. Tweet, tweet. Yes, little tweet, tweet mouth. <laughs> That's that one. And then I've got my... Oh, oh hello. on back to me, the 1M. Yeah. And then I have the... This one is called the 5FT. It's a very spiky one. Love that one. Is it called the 5FT or have I misread that? And I'm also using the same one in... It was. The uh, rose gold. And then I'm going to use both um, of the 104s. So I use both of those. 
And I'm using both of the, what number, what number are you? I can't read it, is it 32? 32. So, no, we haven't got the lime and raspberry icing sugar, I'm sorry. Uh, but you could buy key lime icing sugar and buy a raspberry ripple and, and just mix bits half and half. Mmm, lovely. Right, so I just want this buttercream a little bit softer, so I'm just going to warm it up ever so slightly. Wait till she sees inside the microwave. Are you joking? Oh, somebody's not left it clean. Give it a quick You mucky pot, Karen. <laughs> I did just love that back in there thinking I wouldn't use it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to wash it later. Yeah, no. There, oh, look, no. there you go. She's not had a porridge in there, it's all spilled over. No, it was all our, all our lovely, it was all our lovely chocolate in there. I just find the plate of the microwave brilliant for melting the chocolates together, yeah, the two words it is very together. Good. So I'm just gonna give them a quick warm. It should say two-y. That big that one. Carol say it should say two E. Can I you pass me pass two E? Two E, that big one, and I'll have a look. It might it might well say that, but uh, I can't read without my glasses on. Let me have a look. So I'm just gonna give them a few seconds each. No, it doesn't, it says five FT. What's the other one set? is the other one the big one? Can we have a look at that one? Two-E. It is two-E. It is the two-E. I think they've just... Uh, I'll have to show Carol these later. Just have it's just because it's a sample. Yeah. That's all it is. Right, yeah, I was making sure I'd not missed it. That's better. Uh, it is a sample nozzle, yes. Yeah. So thank you for clearing that up, Carol. As is a sample nozzle, where it is a two week, so that would be great. That's lovely, that now. Pipe the bug, isn't it? Yes. Much better. Big bowl, that one. I'm done. No, I'm not. Cream on. Forgot what I was up to. So everyone's no, staying no. to the end with us, Claire. Are you all staying? We all staying. Jill staying. Nice one, Jill. She's a good egg, that Jill. <laughs> and the green. Okay, so sorry, you've got to watch me bag them up here. But I will not be a set. So in the big, in our big, what would, what did we say this was, 2E? 2E, yes. I'm going to put some purple in one, and then I'm going to put some pink in the other. Linda says, we used to stay until 10 and over. <laughs> oh, Carol says, I'm staying. Carol's staying with us as well. Oh, oh thanks, Carol. You're a good egg, Carol. She is a good egg. Right, and pink in the other one. So, Shelpa, I'll have to check with Carol whether she can get the Santa boot moulds. Claire doesn't want to miss out. Jackie's staying because she's nosy. She <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want to miss anything. That's I'm what it is, isn't it? Curiosity more than anything. <laughs> I'll read it later if she yes. says something rude. <laughs> not going to get away with it just because you won't read it out. There we go. So Leaf Tip obviously wants the green. So while you're bag filling, and these ladies are absolutely loving watching your bag filling, I'm going to talk <laughs> about your, your class on the 24th of... Why not? On the 24th November, of November. November. Yeah, why not? Let's talk about that. It's behind me. 
look at that Christmas tree tower. It's the right season for yeah, it, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it can get away with that now. <laughs> That's allowed. Thank you. So we've got the Christmas tree tower. We'll bring it over. We'll bring it over to the front after she's been, uh, Claire's finished doing this cake. And it's a Christmas tree tower, and it's on the twenty fourth of November. It's thirty pound unless. You've unless. Already, unless you've already purchased one of the tree tower classes at full price. Get it on, and Simon. Then Get it on. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. <laughs> He's not ready. If you've purchased a full price tree tower already, then you can have this uh, Christmas tree tower for the crazy Is he ready? Price. Is he ready? Is he ready? Crazy the price <laughs> of £15. Pound. <laughs> Absolute bargain. It's a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That made me so happy the first time that was used. So you're right, Lorraine. That is a crazy price. So only, crazy class. Remember, crazy there's five prices. treat tower classes. You only have to purchase one at full price, and then you could buy the other four at the crazy price of fifteen pound a class. So you would get all classes for ninety pound, therefore saving yourself sixty pound. Are you still filling bags, Claire? Yeah, I've got a lot of bags to fill, mate. <laughs> Make yourself useful, you could have filled bags with me. Well, you didn't, you just sat and watched me fill bags, didn't you? I didn't just watch you, I filmed you filling, filling bags. <laughs> Debbie's trying to order. watch it again later. <laughs> Debbie's trying to order and watch at the same time, but she's definitely staying with us. Lovely. Claire, Corbett, your treat towers never get old, says Tracy. Oh, she's a babe. She is a babe. I'll bring it over as soon as I finish bagging up, girls. You know, because... Heather said, I got that crazy price. She did. Is that Heather Hammond? Yeah. She's all over it, that lady. All over it. All so over it. You can... Oh, um, Sue's, Sue's just bought... Sue's just bought the clears. Sue's what? Just bought the clears. Clears? What's the I'm wondering if she means where these are... Uh... Oh, the... Um... Bad. Origami moulds. Origami moulds are bad, yeah. Maybe. Nikki said I signed up for the class before it was even made. Yeah. I think there was about 70 of oh, you that were in the class before you'd seen Sue it. Sue bought the Christmas Tower class. She was so excited because she loved the Halloween one. Bless her. It was fun, that Halloween Tower. Really enjoyed that. Well, the Christmas one looks fun as well because the Christmas one looks absolutely... It is just geared up at the children, isn't it? It's very, very festive. Very festive, very exciting. Margaret, you're on the mall, are you? Brilliant. Oh, Debbie Hargreaves said, very excited, Claire. I found mini Oreos in Home Bargains. Ah, yeah. So there you go, ladies who are on the Treat Tower. Get to your Home Bargains for your mini Oreos. Yeah, Home Bargains is just ace for everything. I love it. A lot of people loved the wedding tower, Pamela. It was absolutely gorgeous, wasn't it? Uh, when we donated it to uh, Fernley, to the um, the care home down the road, they were over the moon with it. They couldn't. They brought everybody out of the kitchen, and I said, "It's heavy. You need a trolley." And they, the the cook came out. Somebody else. There were six people came out. They, they absolutely loved it. Easily pleased. They, they actually got the meat pie. They got the meat pie today, they? and they were they were thrilled to bits with that. And then kept going on about your, your treat tower class as well. Right here we go. Ooh. Do you want to move anything? Um, let's just move these to the side a little bit. Please. See, I tried that when we was moving you your, your wedding cake. Well, just let's just show them these. This oh. is also these nozzles. So pretty. Little mermaidy themed ones. That Made yesterday, put those to the side. Move that one. Right, here we go. Oh, Sue's making the Halloween one as a Harry Potter one for, for the 20th of November. Yeah. That'd be lovely. <laughs> mm. She did say that to me, it's going to yeah. be amazing. Right, so Christmas Tariq Tower. So it's super spangly, but I don't think you can see how spangly it is on there. But it's a very shiny. So yes, there we go. So if you can see, you've got little sn no. It's not, you've got Christmas tree capsicles, you've got gingerbread men, you've got snowmen, you've got little wreaths, you've got big snowflakes that are all sparkly, you've got little meringue reindeer. That way I'm coming. That way. Oh, it's yeah. a little Rudolph. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he's adorable. You've got Christmas puddings. You've got bauble, 
baubles. Oh, you can't see that there, can you? Bauble, bauble, baubles. There. And they're sparkly too. So there's absolutely loads on this one. They're loving Again. the reindeer, and I love the gingerbread people as well. The expression, got a, isn't it, on the reindeer? The expressions, it's like, that's great. He just looks really shocked, I love him. So you can sign on to this class, mm. and remember it's yours to keep forever once you've signed on. You don't have to watch it on the day, but we do have lots of fun and lots of bants. Top bants. Uh, top bants. But top you bands. can, you then, you own the class forever, and you can keep rewinding it and re-watching it, and you can then stop your video at the part you want to <laughs> concentrate on, and then you can play the video, carry it on, so it's great value. Trade, they're all going wow, wow, wow. Well, I'm glad you like it. I really like it. It's just fun, isn't it? It's just really Christmassy. Michelle, I think Carol's tried to. I think Carol has ordered the cake to Coles. The the moulds. Yes, she's ordered them. She's yet. ordered the moulds for yeah, them. They are on the way. They are on the way. So I don't. I can't give you a date, but they are on the way. Uh, just never they're know so at the gorgeous. Moment. We're looking forward to this class, and, and there's quite a lot of people that are on the class that are saying they can't wait for the class. Oh, 24th. thanks, guys. Right, are we ready to decorate a cake? Let's decorate a cake. Let's do this. Where would you like to I'm not ready in? yet. All that time I gave you. And you're still not ready. Ready now? I oh know. That's what am I like, eh? Unbelievable. Well, what do you, what do you expect? You just, more you from just you. I expect you know? more <laughs> from you. <laughs> on, just, just, yeah, okay, so I'm going first with my 1M and I'm just going to pipe some rosette. Is my hand blocking you? No, there's a weird delay. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. The treat towers, they're, 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 oh, I can't speak, the treats, they're on the, the treat towers are treats, they're not actually cake, they're treats. Yes, no, no cake. Unless you do the wedding cake treat tower, which the treat tower is then sat on a cake. Yes. Oh, there, that's a gorgeous colour, that Claire. Nice, isn't it? Oh, Emma, you're going to have to re-watch it. You've missed all the best bits. No. <laughs> she says she just joined us now. I look like I might have missed yes. the best bits. Yeah. What, actually, what's she trying to say? <laughs> Cheeky. Cheeky girl. And Tracy says, pull your two fingers out, Simon. Do <laughs> <laughs> <Me> what? <laughs> Get the, get the angle right that you want. <laughs> I know, he was complaining, wasn't he, that he'd been waiting for me. And then he wasn't even ready himself. Unbelievable. Have you got a good enough view there? Yeah. Emma says all your bits are the best bits. <laughs> we've had a chocolate as well, Emma. Yeah, we've had, actually had a really busy, busy, not that explain if I was still here. It's not just been me tonight, it's not all my fault that we're late. <laughs> it's not all on me this time. We've had a big chocolate we've done loads of the new BWB moulds. Claire's also demoed the new origami chocolate collars. Oh, they're loving these nozzles. It's, it's pink. Crazy, hasn't it's been it? a crazy, crazy, crazy night. Here he goes again, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a crazy night when it's three of us, isn't it? So remember, these nozzles that Claire is using now, you could buy as a set. They're on special offer for two nights only on our website. You can buy them at ten ninety nine with free shipping. But please remember, your order will not be dispatched until the nozzles have come into stock. So if you do add anything else to your basket, it will not be dispatched. Please choose click and collect, uh, and then you will you'll get the free shipping. You can buy both sets of the nozzles for eighteen pound ninety nine. And that is until the 12th of November. And also, that's free shipping. After the 12th of November, the sets will go back to £12.99 per set. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Are you checking out Nick, now? Nikki says, I can feel a Carol McFarlane special cake coming on here, but will it be Claire's best one yet? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and Tracy said it's a crazy night. It has been so far. <laughs> Mandy, Shane, Mandy Jane says she's loved tonight. Thanks, ladies and Simon. She's ordered far too much tonight. She can't wait for the nozzles to arrive. Actually, no. That's how we get you. Lorraine's family bought the Christmas tower. Oh, has she? Yeah, lovely. I wondered where she was. Oh, you nipped off, did you, Lorraine? Just to put a few things in your basket. Sorry, am I making you chase me? Not really. Lee Carroll said it's cost him a fortune tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, definitely when you do this, guys, don't overfill your bags because your hand starts absolutely killing you. Like mine is now. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done the ultimate rule that like you've overfilled your cardinal bag there? Sin, the cardinal yeah. sin, oh, Cardinal sin there, isn't it? Eh? That's the one, Cardinal, cardinal sin. <laughs> for a moment there. You've got a lot of laughing faces up here. <laughs> oh, God. I always do something to show myself up, don't I? It's never, like, it's never a straightforward evening. This, is looking, this, this cake is looking beautiful. I just need to calm down. You just need sorry. to calm down, you do. You certainly do. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't forget to, to show us what nozzles you're using. Okay, when you're using them. So, the small style one is the... It's a 32, isn't it? Yes, it is actually, yes. Well done, Karen. Karen's in charge of saying what the nozzles are. So, to what Karen's are you using now? 32. Can you show us it? Well, thank you. It's the small spiky one. Small spiky one, thank you. So basically, we're just showing you how quick and easy it is to do a cake with these nozzles and how cool it looks. Have I got, have I got? So how many of you enough. ordered these nozzles tonight? I know some of you have been nipping off and order off the website. Have you, anybody put in these, anybody put any pre-orders in for these nozzles? These gorgeous holographic no, or rose gold, they are stunning. They're just so pretty as well, aren't they? They certainly are. And for two nights only, they're ten ninety nine per set, or you can get both sets if you want to be decadent for eighteen ninety nine. That is decadent. I think. Well, you, like Claire's, she, Claire's filled nearly two sets. <laughs> I'm still laughing. She's still laughing. I'm still laughing. Yeah. So sorry. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, Antonia's bought both. June's bought them. I'm really ashamed of myself. They said it's a good job, it's after nine o'clock. It is, isn't it? Oh, and Kit's bought the double pack as well. You can't go wrong because it just means that you can uh, do two colours of buttercream if you wanted to. Yeah, and you, absolutely. And you've got, it makes you, it all loads easier, doesn't it? You can just fill. You can fill up twelve bags <laughs> and make your children stand there while you fill the bags up. I'm so happy at that. I'm so sorry. It's going to take me a while to get over that. Linda says when her hubby goes to bed, she'll be ordering. So shh. <laughs> Yes, Claire, the sets are the same designs, they're in the different colours. We do a rose gold set and we do a holographic set. So, um, 
a hologram set they're, they're beautiful so they are the same but it's just two different colors you know what they'd look stunning in your drawer <sighs> maybe overfilled bags there we go you're right Lorraine she's gone Claire's gone maybe, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll still be laughing at that in the car on the way home, I think. She'll be giggling all the way home. <laughs> it's still, sorry, it's still really funny. I'll take that bit off because I was laughing. I lost complete control then. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> mm. Calm, calm. Sorry, Sam. You are chasing me there, aren't you? It's looking absolutely stunning that clay. It's coming gorgeous. on, isn't it? And then you can just go back in with some of the ones you've oh, some of the ones you've already used. That's because it had gone crusted over at the end in my bag. Swirls, but you've also been doing those lovely ruffles as well, haven't you? All yeah. the way lines. Just a ruffling. Yeah. Emma Harlan horses is loving the colours. Yeah, they're just pretty, aren't they? Feminine. This is not far off you know it's looking gorgeous it's so pretty and some more white here and then a bit more with these I'm still giggling, still yeah. giggling. It, it was hilarious. Debbie, I was thinking the we same thing friends. when Tracy wrote that. The trick is not to have a husband to hide your orders from. Yeah. Or you bury them in the garden. So Debbie says, do you mean the orders or the husband? <laughs> <laughs> Both. Yeah, you could say one, one, of, one of the other, don't you? You know. Just bury the husband, then you can have all the orders yeah, in the you kitchen. Don't you don't well, need to bury your orders, do you <laughs> Linda said, I don't like me cake stuff, she has the bags and shoes. <laughs> you, put, you, put, you put the box in the bar and say, oh, it's about ages. That's what I usually this do. This old thing. I've worn this three times when I've been out with you. <laughs> you told me you don't recognise it. <laughs> you told me I look nice last time. <laughs> <laughs> you messed with the mind. <laughs> can't believe you, aren't you? That's terrible, Karen. Yeah. Don't catch me doing anything like that. No. So you, you buy a new dress and then make them feel bad for not realising <laughs> you've worn it three times. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. And I've so devious. Shocker, isn't she? So devious. I'm surprised by that. Yeah. I'm shocked and appalled. Matthew has bought both sets. Linda says she says that all the time. <laughs> I've had it ages. It's the famous old thing. I've had it ages. Oh, Lee's ordered both sets as well. They're just oh, too bad. nice, aren't they? They're too nice to tie and say, oh, I want that colour or that colour. You might just get both colours. Mm -hmm. And if you get both sets, you're doing a massive saving at 18 99 It is a really good saving, that. I was really surprised when um, she said that before. Really surprised. Yes, because de as you're demonstrating here, it's so useful, isn't it, to have both? Have yeah, more than one it really each is. Nozzle. So I'm just looking around for any little gaps that I can pop a little 
leaf into, which I think it'll look cute. I'm just wondering if we've got enough work surface there, Claire, to show everything that we've done today. What all day? <laughs> no, for just tonight, tonight. What we've done tonight, absolutely. Definitely not enough room for all day. What Kathy we've been up to all day. always has the new items to her ironing pile, so it's just the ironing. The husband doesn't notice. <gasps> That's such a good idea. <laughs> well done, Kathy. <laughs> She's my she's hero. Yes, yeah, so when she's ironing, the husband thinks she's, it's been washed and she's ironing it, so she... So he doesn't realise it's me. <laughs> Sam, you've got to understand that we, we can be a bit devious when we want to be. Yeah, I just... I could have do ironing, so it <laughs> would have worked for me. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't work for me either, because I don't iron anything. She knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Cathy's more than aware of my lack of ironing skills, isn't she? You haven't got an iron off yet. No. In the bin. <laughs> they need something ironed really desperate. I take it to the dry cleaners. Debbie goes, Kathy, ironing? What's that? Keeping people in a job, <laughs> I am. By not ironing myself. So, what do you think of this cake, mate? It's going to see lots of love, hearts, and likes for this cake using our fabulous new nozzles, please. I think Claire has done an amazing job here. It's very pretty, I think. Margaret says her Hermes lady says she's keeping her in a job. <laughs> well, this is it goes down the food chain, doesn't it? We have to keep our couriers and our yeah. delivery drivers in jobs as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Been a tough couple of years for everyone, so yeah, let's keep them in jobs. Oh, the love hearts are flying up the screen for your hair, Claire. Absolutely. Oh, bless it. So, uh, Shay says, please tell us all the nozzles that you've used. Okay. So it's in Karen. the set. We've used uh, a 32. We've used, used two thirty twos. Two thirty twos. No, in the set. She also one in the set. Oh, okay. We've got six in the set. We have a number thirty two. We have a two e. We have a one m. We have um, a three five two. We have a, a one o four. A one o four. I'm looking at um, a one o four. Is a star tip. Um, that's one o four. That's the one. Is it this one you want? That's, yeah, no, not that one, the other one. That, um... oh. I think we are there, you know. Wow, that overhead shot was gorgeous, says Debbie. It's very pretty up top, isn't it? <laughs> Still laughing. Yeah, I think we're there. 32, 104, 2E, 1M, 1M. I don't know. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see which one. Oh. Do these ones? Yeah, they're the ones I'm looking for. Thank you very much. It was this, oh, it was this little... Uh, the leaf one. The 67. 67 That's leaf. That's the number one. The 67 leaf. That's what I was looking for. The 67. And there we go. I think we... So how is that? So just bear with me That's one fun. second. And then uh, can you just move your bags out of the way and start putting your bits on the back for me there? Of course. Thank you. Well, I've put my bits on the back. What bits does she mean? Uh, no idea. <laughs> okay. Let's put this on the back, no, maybe? No, I think not. Let me show the cake. The jugs. You show the cake. Leave so it there. The Let me show it. You give it a twirl. What did you want me to move, Karen? Sorry. Just, just so we can get everything on the front. Everything that we've made? Yeah, everything on the front, yes. Yeah. It was made. Oh, yeah, not on the back. Don't not on the back. back. Don't put anything on the back. So we made this one today, didn't we? We'll, take, we, well, we haven't made the trees, but you know, the trees are on there for decoration purposes. Oh. So that one and that one. Mm -hmm. And then my tray of goodies, please. Where is that here? Yes. Okay. There's your tray.
I didn't make that, but I've made that. You made that one? Made that, and we've made that, and we've made some baubles, and then I'll turn these round here like that. Oh, I love this one. Vivid. So, look at everything that we've made today. In fact, if I turn that round that way, it'll be the right way around when he does, a bit, when he does an overhead shot. Mm -hmm. So how good is that? We've done a gorgeous packed in, cake. Oh, packed in a gorgeous cake with a lovely um, origami collar, mm -hmm. origami co chocolate collar. We've done a gorgeous cake there using our new sets of um, nozzles, which are twelve ten ninety nine on the website for two nights only. Uh, you get both sets for eighteen ninety nine. We've used free our shipping, free, shipping. free shipping, free shipping, free shipping, only. and we've done our gorgeous. BWB moles, look at these. We've got baubles, we've got Christmas wreaths, we've got Santa's hat, we've got the poppet moles. Look how good these poppet moles are. I love that, Wally. They look good enough to eat, don't they? Well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> so just think how much. <laughs> Simon loves it when they get. But just I mean, look at that. Look at that poppet mould there. How the children will love that. And it just, you can put them in your treat boxes. You can put them in a lovely cellophane bag. And again, as I said, with our flavour shots, flavour eat section in a different flavour. And then they're getting it all as a different flavour. How yeah, good would that be? That would be gorgeous. And then Very we've nice. got, uh, remember, we've got our hollow bells. It's so you can ding it. Well, they're all, <laughs> they're all hollow though, aren't they? Yeah, no, but it's a bottomless bell. <laughs> it's a bottomless bell. Bottomless bell. And then we've just got one thing to do now, which is move that cake over here like that. Is that in the right place? Is that in the right it place there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to say? Happy birthday. birthday! And Lynn, this is in work waiting for you tomorrow when you turn up. It's a gift from Carol for you. We can put it in the center, sorry, in the centre, is it? Yeah. So there, there we go. go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lynn. Hope you really for enjoy you. this. It's for you. How nice is that? Do you like it? I hope you do. I hope you Made do. Made with love, Lynn. Made with love. Made with lots of love. There's lots of love hearts coming up. She said, wow, that overhead, overhead was gorgeous. Um... All the love hearts are coming up there. So I'm just going to bring the iPad round. Yes. Bring the Good iPad idea. round while we say, Claire, thank you for being my buddy tonight. Karen, thank you for not kicking me out <laughs> so I won't go away. <laughs> I've had an absolute ace time. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. So uh, everyone is loving it. All the hearts are flying up there. Simon, thank you for being on the camera. You're so thank welcome. You. <laughs> thank you both of you. <laughs> And we thoroughly enjoy it. So don't forget, we have um, Marion Frost in the kitchen. I couldn't remember even what day I was on then. I think we've been going all that long. Uh, no, I've got no. Marion Frost tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. So please tune in for that. Marion is going to be doing an advent calendar. That's not one to be missed either, is it? No, it really good, that. I'll be watching it home. And then we've got Kim back in the kitchen next week. Yoo-hoo! We've got Kim so back. Happy. And so we've happy. got Kim back doing shoes. So please look for Kim's shoe class on the 17th. That is on the website now for you to buy. But we've got Kim in and uh, no doubt we'll be popping That's in and out. super sparkly shoe, isn't it? Super, super sparkly shoe. shoe. So I can't wait to have Kim. And she's doing a, she's doing a week's holiday here again with us. And I always have a load of fun when Kim's in the kitchen. So I can't wait for that. And then we've got... Um, so it'll be Kim Monday night. <laughs> I'm sure it's Kim Monday night. Yes. I think, I think it, so. I think it is. Uh, then it'll probably be... Um, be Laura next week, won't it? Laura, Laura okay. next Thursday, yes. Yeah. So we've got a super busy, it'll be me doing my live next Wednesday. So we have got a super busy week again for you next week. And don't forget, we've got Tracy Man on the Tuesday as well. So we pack it in for you. And I want to show you more and more moulds so that we can uh, get those Christmas orders going in for you. So then you'll be absolutely super busy getting all your Christmas chocks ready. I'll not be allowed back, will I, after that climb? <laughs> you might be. I might let you. So thank you ever so much, and we'll see you bright and early at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Bye. Bye.